we're in the last section of the level, kind of close to finishing it. Hello there, mortals. I'm Jensen, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. In the previous episode, we got pretty damn far. We're here at the Tainted yeah, Mountain right Temple, and we're basically and at the point where we can kind of... We, oops, we can kind of just, like, uh, finish the game. We're really, really close to it. Uh, there are a couple of invisible enemies here, so I'm going to cast a High Maelstrom, which is a nuke of a spell. We probably won't be able to get away with doing this in every single encounter, though. I am a sorcerer, and unfortunately, that might not cut it for uh, quite a, a huge portion of this area. Okay, we're pretty tired. I don't actually think we hit anything. Didn't we? Or maybe there's nothing here. Weird. I thought I remember maybe, I don't know, a bunch of invisible saurians around the place. The only downside with the spell is that you can't really see. Okay, I'll mind the edge. Uh, I did go see Alpha Wolf live in concert last weekend. My god, they are one of my favorite bands. I love them so much, and they are even better live. They are really funny as well. I got quite lucky. I didn't go to a stadium with like a packed out 5,000 people there just kind of like ravenously ready to, to uh, kind of hear the shrieks and, and breakdowns and slams of, of all that stuff. Let's cast our necromancy. It was actually a fantastic gig. They're really funny people too. Scottswood, what happened with the bank? Uh, they, I, it's actually really hard to say. I feel like, oh, piss off. We just got hit, right as we were kind of casting a spell as well. Uh, what happened with the bank is that they uh, disabled my bank card. They disabled my bank card uh, because apparently it's at its expiry, even though what's written on the card is actually that it expires next month and not this morning. Luckily, I, I had my card when I was kind of like up in, up in Christchurch watching the Alpha Wolf gig, because if I didn't have it, then I would have been absolutely screwed. So I got kind of lucky in a, in a way. In a way, I got kind of lucky. Let's go ahead and cast uh, Maelstrom down here, because I know there's still enemies. But yeah, that's essentially it. They cancelled my card, and uh, I, I can't buy anything. <laughs> Pretty simple. All right, we'll cast this here. Uh, that includes Portal. I actually did want to play Portal now. I don't own it on anything other than the Xbox 360? I think, I think that's what I had it on when I was playing it initially, but I don't own it on PC. Okay, still kind of like firing away. Oh, damn, that sucks, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, it, honestly, it's been a pretty revolting few months. Uh, we had a death in the family last week as well, uh, which led me to doing uh, 270, three sets of six of 270 on the leg press last Monday, and I, I half threw my back out doing that, unfortunately. Uh, so kind of like the only saving grace at this point is uh, YouTube. Hi, Yudson. Hey there, Spray Paints. I hope you're having a great time. Everyone around me isn't really having a great time, but... Uh, you know, uh, best of luck to all of those people. And all the people who have, are having a great time, savour it. Absolutely savour it. Savour every second of a great time you're having. I'm going to go ahead and actually save, right? Yeah, we should probably be saving a lot more frequently than we are. Now, I know what we're listening to is really, really heavy, but I just discovered this band. They played right before Alpha Wolf played when I went to their concert, and I fell in love with them. They're a lot like, uh, kind of like Pierce the Veal, I would say. If Pierce the Veal kind of like weren't as whiny and emo, they're really good. I'm having a great time. Oh, that's fantastic, spray paints. Awesome. I love hearing that. Okay, we'll fire off this maelstrom right here. Now, because my bank card is not working, I'm not going to be able to buy any games, any new games, until essentially either that gets replaced or I can work something out with the inset. Maybe I can borrow her card for... I know, a, a week or two while my replacement card arrives, because they have to send it in the mail for some stupid reason. And essentially, this gives me a really, really good opportunity to play some of the mods for the games that I have not already played. For example, Fallout London. Rear footage of Jensen wearing a shirt. <laughs> yep, uh, uh, this will be on Live Leak. This, this stream's going up on Live Leak. Jensen wears a shirt. Jensen hides everything about his muscles. That was, um... I, I was basically out of gym shirts and stuff. I was away for the weekend, so I didn't get a chance to do any any laundry. So I'm, I'm down to all of the t-shirts that I have. Okay, there's a couple of goodies down here. Yep. Uh, thank you for the exposition, Jimmit. We are just looting, though. Please don't please don't give me lore. We need, the, we need everything. The goblin moaning on your character is the most insane gimmick I've ever seen somebody put on the character. 
we be wearing actual shirts with this one? Yeah, yeah. We're going to wear some shirts for this for this one here. I might actually, like, dress up for Fallout London as well. Because I know what the uh, the English wear. It's kind of like, um... Uh, uh, what are they? It's like denim short shorts. Those apple bottom jeans. I'll, I'll have my, my butt cheeks hanging out and stuff. What else do they like wearing? They like wearing beige and uh, corduroy and stuff like that. I'm thinking maybe a maelstrom would do us really, really good here. Because I know there's a couple of enemies inside of this little area here. But I'm going to have to tell everybody to actually tank all of these attacks in case we get attacked. Alright. When will portal be? Uh, I'll have to, unfortunately, let you guys know probably tonight. So probably tonight I'll sort something out with the inset. Um, I might be able to borrow her card, but... You know, at the same time, if she's not really comfortable with uh, me doing that, that's fair enough. That's absolutely fair enough. Okay, good. And you know what? I'm actually going to do a cheeky little thing as well. We're going to jump up here, and we're going to go all the way around to kind of get all of this extra loot too. I have the habit of putting on a sweater everywhere I go. Sometimes it can be burning hot outside, and I'll still wear anything other than actual cold clothing. I uh, am. A, I have a great coat from, like, World War Three or something like that. I don't know. I, I can't remember whose army it was. It was a military surplus wing. But it's, it was just this enormous, gigantic jacket, and I wear it literally everywhere it, uh, whenever I go outside. Or like a field jacket as well. An M85 field jacket. World War Three. Yeah, I can't remember what the actual war was, so I'm, I'm just saying it was World War Three. It might have been a big one, might have been a small one, who knows. Oh, Lancer Sword. Don't know if we're ever going to use that, but cool to add it to our collection. Nice. That did not happen yet. Yet. I shall restore your yes. Help. It's on. like that meme of that time traveler, right? That time traveler goes back to 1991. They say something like, oh, is this World War I? And everybody is all like, you mean the Great War, right? And the time traveler's like, uh, you mean the Great War, right? The, the Great War? <laughs> what do you mean World War I? How many more are coming? You know, you never know how many of those are going to happen. But yeah, um, it's, it's, it's been a, a, a year of highs and lows so far. Everyone I know is either struggling or having an absolutely fantastic time. Mainly struggling. Mainly struggling. We're in a recession at the moment here in New Zealand. A lot of people are quite financially stressed. Now, I know something about this doorway as well. I'm going to save. <laughs> I know something absolutely revolting about this doorway, and I hope none of you knows anything about this doorway, because otherwise you'll basically be having a real bad time, kind of like me fighting sands. Let's go ahead and pop a high maelstrom right here. Because we are going to need it right there. And we'll also hope that we have enough stamina to kind of like actually pop this and be able to run through it. Because what's going to happen is as soon as we cast this here high maelstrom, boom! We are going to be absolutely flustered by a cluster of harpies. Can't wait to see what happens next year. Oh, man. I don't think it's going to be good. I don't think it's going to be good, honestly. It seems like the years are just getting worse and worse for everyone. Really? A succubus, you say? Who could have seen that coming, huh? <laughs> well, the maelstrom sure is working. Okay, good. Uh, we've also got a dire wolf. Oh, damn, it survived. That's okay, I got it with the magic. We've got a uh, full charge, by the way. Oh, piss, that was... Damn it, we just lost our full charge. Poos. Uh, we also didn't get either of those harpies out of the sky, which is bad. Okay, I'm gonna scoot away from them because they are very, very hard to take out. We have kind of like lost all of our ability to I deal damage, so we should probably maybe Open equip Holy. Let's give ourselves Holy and we'll fire some Attack Fire and Forgets out into the wall. They'll just home in on enemies. Oh, hey, this I've is lucky. Stricken. Hello there, ma'am. Would you like some Holy? Of course she would. She'd love some. Ooh. 2025 just might be watered down 2024, but with new company product releases. Uh, unless it's Nike. <laughs> Nike made an announcement uh, pretty recently. I also quite like um, investing in trading. That's that's one of the hobbies of mine. I do bad news bear trading, which I don't think I've ever seen anybody else cite as kind of like a method. But I've been getting consistent 15% on every stock I've invested in across less than a month. So Nike put out this uh, this announcement as saying, hey, we've just had the worst quarter of our lives uh, in like 30 years. And um, their stock dropped real hard because of it. And then people were all like, oh, yeah, but you're going to you're gonna recover for next quarter, right? And Nike were all like, no, actually, it's probably going to be worse. So they dropped 20%, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm buying into that, because Nike's too big to fail. And I've already made 15% since they made that announcement like three weeks ago. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. I love bad news bear, bad news bear trading. Or like, a, I think the uh, common word for it is like jackal trading. What's that? Like you smell blood, you pounce, like jackals do, that kind of stuff. 
Okay, I was expecting more enemies through here, but it actually seems like we've kind of gotten lucky. I think we only got like two direwolves. Maybe we killed one with a... Oh, did I just find a bastard sword? No shot. What is this? Archer's Kulots. Nine danker. Rusted sword. Okay, I'm going to throw that on the ground. We are never going to use that, and we probably already have one. Done. All right, that reduced our weight limit a little bit. Now, here's another little uh, cheeky technique. I'm going to save and quit. No, I'm going to save, not quit. I'm going to hit save. We're going to go in here, and we're going to see a big, nasty animal. Probably around this corner. In fact, it might be a good idea to just straight up cast Maelstrom all the way down this corridor, because I know there's an enemy down here who absolutely hits like a truck. Oh, there's also spiders. I swear to God, if one of them, like, hits me with their poison, and we lose all of our damage potential... Okay. Damn it! We lost all of our damage potential. And all of our stamina. Oh well. That is what it is. Okay, now let's uh, go and spawn the thing that will be down here that we need to watch out for. Because it is down here. Okay, I can't see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I think I'm puffed. Are you alright, Master? Uh, no, I'm really, really puffed. Alright, it's not coming yes, after us. Let's go ahead and cast another high maelstrom. I'm going to try and, like, wait sword. until it comes in here, because I think it will oh, actually come in here. Steel. Oh, never mind. There it is. Let's just, like, take a guess at where it is, because obviously it's not going to be coming in. Actually, I can kind of, like, see where it is. Just on the mini-map? On the mint map down there? Okay, cast. Did we get it? No. No, we did not. In fact, we uh, did a big old miss. Oh, there we go. We're kind of hitting the snake head. Nice! We just maxed out our damage potential. Ah, perfect. Right, so I don't actually think this is a useful spell whatsoever in this instance. We may want to think about... I don't know. Bolide is actually really, really good against these guys because they're weak to fire. So I'm feeling kind of... If we come around behind this pillar right here, we could probably cast Bolide. A high Bolide as well. Let's do that. We'll get this, uh, this dunce to come over this way. Because we've got maximized damage potential right now as well, with our Cajun Fury, uh, what is it called? Is it a, is, it's a star. Okay, I'm casting it. Boom! That should summon some meteors down from the sky. Boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. The meteors are landing. Wow, have we one hit it? One more, one more, one more, one more. Yes! Nice! Okay, one bowl I just took down a Gore Chimera. That feels so goddamn good. All right, we'll loot it. Inside. Yeah, what is it, Scarby? What's in that? What's in that chest? What have you found? Melorian Helm? Yuck. Absolutely revolting. Yinsen Peak that? singing? No, that was uh, terrible. Oh, that's also something that has been going wrong recently as well. Uh, that music project that I've been trying to kind of like organize behind the scene. I have been working on that, I kid you not, for four straight months. And I've been kind of like organizing to hang out and just do like one-on-one -on -one jam sessions with some of, the art some of the artists that I want to work with. One of them has actually been doing good. One of them, Epic Flying Horse, who is another YouTuber and a good friend of mine privately before he even found out he was a YouTuber. He's good. He's actually, uh, he's been really, really good about it. We've only had uh, one jam session in the last, like, few months, but he is quite busy. And we were supposed to have one yesterday, but he had a massive hangover and he's a drummer. So figured maybe not, maybe not like that. <laughs> maybe don't uh, have such a revolting kind of, like, Oh, Scubby is literally onto it. Maybe maybe we don't give the drummer a massive headache every time we have a jam session. Because I do really intense vocals as well. Chat's broken again. Okay, let me go ahead and change that. What the hell is up with the YouTube live system? I'm looking at a different live stream, which is apparently live, but it's not. Wow. But yeah, it's... um. Uh, there's two other artists, both of them are guitarists. I've been trying to organize uh, just getting a single jam session with them. And it almost feels as if they're like taking the piss with how frequently they're all like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not free then. Uh, the last guitarist I was just talking with was just an absolutely terrible experience so far. And I think my patience has kind of run out recently. I've been trying to like organize a jam session with him for the last four months, of course. But at the same time, like, every time I try and organize something, uh, he says, like, oh, no, that time's no good for me. So I'll, I'll say, like, another time to organize. And this will be weeks out in advance or something like that. So it's more than enough time for people to kind of, like, organize things for themselves. 
And everything, every time I say something, it's like, no, no, that, that, that doesn't work for me. It, it doesn't work for me, so I can't do that. And then I'll ask, like, oh, when suits you? And he'll be all like, oh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I, I will give these people my entire schedule for weeks in advance. And then they'll be all like, okay, I'll let you know if something pops up. And I'm like, oh, please, God, no. Like, I understand that musicians are generally, like, quite flaky people. But this is just, it's taking the piss almost. And I don't know if they're doing it intentionally just to um, annoy me. But my patience has kind of, like, worn out for them. I'm probably going to start looking elsewhere. The music project is not going well. I don't even need guitarists. I can play all of the guitar bits that I want to play myself. So I'm, 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 I'm just not going to worry about it. And every time someone's interested in our project, I'll, I'll just invite them around for a, for a play. Yeah, that's, that's basically as, as simple as it gets, right? Just, like, only do the people who are interested. Okay, so I think we have kind of, like, been in this area. We are now actually at the dragon fight, which is the end of the game. I'm joking with the singing. What the hell? Did she just like... Did she just do an ox stance thrust out of pot? <laughs> I can't believe that. What a lady. All right. In the darkness, your ears can tell you much that your eyes cannot. Not when you're listening to invent... Imag imagine... Inv I've already forgotten who this band is called. They've got a strange name. It's a bit pretentious, but the music's good. All right, I'm going to pause it for this cutscene. Invent animate, that's what they're called. Okay, this is the summit of total of the game. What is your purpose here, Arisen? I'm here to slay you. If you sought to live, you had naught but run and hide yourself away. No, I'm here to slaughter. But then, tell me, child of man, what does it mean to live in truth? To wage war against the passing of days. To pray to the unseen for a few breaths more. To raise grand cities from stone and spawn new life in turn. Mankind has done this. Yes, and more. It's so is cold. The tapestry you weave truly of your own design? simple fear of death. <laughs> well, that's lucky because we've killed a lot of them. But not mankind. Some welcome the end with arms outstretched, while others come to face death incarnate, arms in hand. I ask again, what is your purpose here arisen? Run, whoever you are! Do your survival rise in my defeat? Still my heart, and you stay the coming end. Another path before you is to offer up that which you hold most dear. Abandon all delusions of control. <laughs> Oh. The price of a single life, I shall leave this land in peace. As my vanquisher, the duchy would bow to you. Wealth and power are sweet anodyne for heartache. You'll not gainsay my terms are more than generous. If it matters aught, the man who rules this land now won that honor through just such a bargain. The decision is yours, Arisen. Now, choose. That is so cool. So what we've just found out here is that the Duke, the uh, the guy who runs Grand Sorin, the guy right at the top, he did not slay the dragon. When we played the intro of this game, he did not actually succeed in slaying the dragon. He offered up his beloved to the dragon in exchange for a lifetime of wealth. His lifetime has run out. His lifetime ran out when our heart was plucked from our chest. That is Though such I a cool concept. To me, it was ever your own feet, your own will that brought you. 
Uh, yep, that is also true. And also the, um, the continuation of the plot. We also can't save. So, a beloved is kind of like the person you love most in this game world. And weirdly, we got the, um, I think his name's Aldous. The choice is yours, Arisen. Yeah, I think that's Aldous. Uh, Aldous. The guy who gave us all the quests in the keep. So, since he loves us, he is here. But up the life we don't the feel anything for him. He was a quest giver. We don't have a beloved, technically. Of this land. Now, I know that the right answer here is probably to fight the dragon, but quite frankly, I couldn't give two hoots about this wanker. So you know what? You will there you go. Bond with this human and make an offering of their death. Grant me my wealth, big dragon lord! Please. I shall not judge you, Arisen, for weakness is your nature as a child of man. I ask this final time, will you turn and leave this place? Do we want to fight the dragon or do we want to just offer up this dickhead here in exchange for kind of like a lifetime's worth of wealth? Ah, screw it, why not? Your choice is made, Arisen. As you have willed it, so shall it be. We got the good ending! We got the good ending, everybody! We didn't slay the dragon, and look, we are king. This is best possible outcome for the game. I'm not joking. I, I'm literally not joking. Fight, fight! Oh, man. <laughs> Don't worry. Since this is the end of the game, we're actually going to go back in. And we're going to fight the dragon. Don't worry. Yeah, 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 we became king! That's it, everybody! That is it! Thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find- No, I'm totally kidding. We're going back into the game. So, the Duke was an Arisen, just like us. He had the same task of slaying that dragon, getting his heart back. He didn't get it back. He offered up his beloved in exchange for the lordship, the dukedom, the, 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 the dukenance, the- you know, the, um, the, the monarchy, the crown, the wealth, the, uh, the chest that we looted that he, he doesn't have. The Worm King's Ring that we also, um, we stole. We stole, we made a forgery, and we gave him back the forgery. So in that scene where he starts choking out his, uh, his, his princess, right, the, um, his wife, th that would have been his second wife, and that would not have been the woman that he loved, which is probably why she was trying her luck with us. She probably knew that we were to be the next Arisen, and if we... No, actually, because then she'd know that uh, we'd sacrifice her for the Duke ship. Okay, so she's like Juliet from Romeo and Juliet, right? So anyway, we're going to go back in. We're going to make a different choice this time. We're going to save Wanker Supreme here, whatever his name is. And we are going to do our best to uh, slay this, this dragon. dragon oh, really? Finish this. Really, Scarby? Thank you so much for this information. Okay, we'll come in here. I'm gonna skip the cutscene and all. We, we already know. Unless the cutscene is different. One way to find out. What is your purpose here, Arisen? To make another choice. To live, you had not but run and hide yourself away. No, it's not different. He's gonna be chased around by these goblins. Quite frankly, I couldn't give two hoots whether or not this guy lives or dies, to be honest. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and cast Holy Affinity on ourselves. And then we will fire out some Fire and Forgets. How does that sound? I'm going to stand in front of uh, Wanker Supreme over here. By the way, that's his new name. Wanker oh, Supreme. I, called you here to me. I defend Wanker Supreme! Your own your choice is Die, me, dickhead man! Arisen, as you have wounded, so okay, good. shall it be. So now we are engaged in a little bit of a fight. Watch out for the rock! Well, well, that's Wanker Supreme dead. No, he's alive! Wow. Beautiful th about this. Dead Space Main, hey there, welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, not portal today because my bank has blocked my card a week earlier than they should have. <laughs> so I can't actually buy it. Alright, now we're gonna have to engage, first of all, in a chase scene going this way. It's away for now. Ah, way. that's a rock! I'm glad that didn't fall on us. Could you imagine if that rock fell on us? We would be like. We'd be dead. Come run. Well, which one do you want me to do? Pick one. 
I can't do both. The blood needs to be diverted somewhere. Okay, we've got infinite stamina here. So I'm just going to sprint away. And we're going to see uh, just how well we can kind of like best this dragon. This is a really cool fight, by the way. And I'm not going to spoil anything for the story going forward. Simply because it is just a banger of a story. It is such a good story. Whoa! He big. He big. Okay. I intend to be... Yeah, this guy might be a dragon, but I'm going to be dragon D's nuts against... Oh, even that was a, a waste. Let's cast Bolite because it's... Actually, we should probably use... No, I'm cancelling. We're using Season. You know, the spell with the... Um, uh, we're dead. <laughs> we got one hit! Oh my god! Oh, that's right. We're not wearing armor. <laughs> right. Now that I know this... Now that, now that I know this, we're, we're not going to get hit whatsoever. We should probably actually cower. Maybe hide behind something. Now. Good thing this we didn't way. get squished by that. Could you imagine? One over there. Good. Bro, watch too much Dragging Balls D Z to know that D's nut special attack. I don't... It, D's nuts don't really have a special attack. It's the same kind of attack that everybody else can do. A felony. That's, that's basically it, right? All right. We'll run away from this thing. This is so cool though, right? They didn't have to animate the sequence in here. You can kind of like stand and deal damage to him as well, but uh, if he if he rails over you, it's kind of like, um, oh, what's that, uh, that game? Choo Choo Charles. It's like a Choo Choo Charles situation. Whoa. I almost just got stuck on a rock. <laughs> it's embarrassment. Whoa. And we're gone. All right, we're probably hiding behind something. Let's go ahead and just cast Season right here, because I'm pretty sure that is going to be the way. All right, there he is. He's going to cast a magic spell, and it's going to be fire. Magic missile. Magic missile. I'm going to cast high season right about now. Funk Soul Brother, check it out now. Funk Soul Brother, right about now. Whoa, that damage though. Look at that damage. Holy hell. Holy hell. Oh, the game is hijacking my mouse. I can't really aim. Oh, piss off. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't cancel that, so I couldn't leave. I love the magic missile voice. Bro was speaking in the voice of his character. Magic missile! Yeah, would we like that? Would we all like me to kind of like telegraph my attacks by, by saying them like Funko speaks? Magic missile! <laughs> magic it's missile! For now. We've it's also got away. tiny, tiny legs. So we are running significantly slower than literally everyone else. <laughs> Well, what do you want me to do? Pick one. I can't do both. I can't multitask. I'm male. Males can't multitask, as far as I'm aware. Goaded character design. Actually, when we hit like a high enough level, maybe we'll get him when we get into Bitter Black Isle. My main account in this game, because I've got I've got four alt accounts, so I can fill out the entire party of uh, classes if I want. My main account has a character called Jax, who is literally a blink strike nuke. He is insanely potent. Unfortunately, I had to uh, design him twice on account of his, uh, on my first account, my save corrupted, right? And then Jax was still saved to the server. So I made a new pawn and it didn't overwrite the save because the save corrupted and essentially the server recognized, oh, there is no save. So what happens is kind of like every difference that I've put in between Jax 1 and Jax 2 are still actually applied to the one character. It's crazy. So he's got two different voices, one boomingly deep voice and one kind of like average refined voice. Uh, that wasn't actually very effective whatsoever. Yeah, did not like. You know, we could probably actually just fire these out sideways and they'll still hit him, right? Yep, they are targeting. Ow! Oh. Okay, that wasn't terribly painful, which I'm happy for. Let's run away. Okay. How about I do that now? I'll do that now. We'll show him bold light. Uh, yeah, but Jax has these, like, skill sets as well that don't really make sense either. Uh, he can bang his shield while he is also... Okay, well, cast the bullet. While he is also doing blink strike, which is kind of OP because it... It's a weird glitch. It's a weird glitch character. Okay, most of those landed, fortunately. When you do the shield bash, it aggroes everything around you. And when you do the uh, other one, the blink strike, you kind of like, you dash through enemies. And all of the enemies you touch, it does kind of like um, 
It does consistent damage. No. So what he does is he shouts while he sprints because of the bug. And every time he does this, all of the enemies just like hoard in on him. And then he does like five blink strikes in a big circle and it kills literally everything in his way. It's crazy. It's crazy how it works. Can we get a magic missile sound bike redeem? Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I don't know how to apply those to YouTube, though. Sound just like it. Uh, I'll try and figure it out. I won't figure it out in this session because it might take a wee while. But I will figure it out for like a future session. Uh, can someone please touch me? Alright, bye! <laughs> I needed literally a hand to get up. Ooh, husband sauce everywhere. Gorgeous. Hey yo! Okay, can we save now? No, we're still in a fight. Oh well. We still have maxed out damage potential. Now, I'm actually going to wait right here to refill my stamina bar, which is on the, uh, the other side of the screen just over here. Streamlabs? Streamlabs is really fiddly with YouTube. Like, I, I do have Streamlabs in YouTube set up, but I've also got alerts every time someone donates Super Chats and subscribes, and they only work like one in five times, which is real weird. I, I don't know why it's so broken for YouTube. Maybe because Twitch is their cash cow and um, YouTube is not. Meth Labs, my favorite streaming service. Streaming? Oh, speaking of Meth Labs, did you guys see recently? I think Penguin Zero covered this as well. Um, here in New Zealand, there was a, a bit of an incident where a charity started distributing kind of like donated candy. And there was a bag of sealed candy which ended up containing, I kid you not, pure methamphetamines. Okay, we'll run over here because I'm pretty sure he's going to do a, a big old fire attack. Yep, we don't want to be hit by that. Uh, oh, piss. That was close. But yeah, it was, it was crazy. This charity got a bunch of um, kind of like candy. It's got this side so it doesn't hurt us. And then they individually kind of like opened all of the packets. And it turns out every single one of the hard-boiled candies was just a chunk of meth. <laughs> oh, that was a little bit jank. But yeah, absolutely insane. That's insane. It is, isn't it? Wrong OBS. What, with the meth? What is Val looting? Oh, she found a flame skirt. Those are actually very, very good. Getting away from this dickhead. It looks like he's got a murder on the mind. Well this place arisen. Okay. Ooh, pretty. It's know real pretty. The frailty of the works of man. Okay. Thank you. This hold once stood proud and firm. Wait, if I just stand here, will you keep giving me exposition? Twas the foolish decision of a man too weak that brought it down. Yeah, that was the Duke. Cool, huh? You got anything more? Or are you just gonna kind of like slink off into the shadows? Slinking? Okay, bye Slinky Malinky. What a pretentious asshole. They missed the chance to put a mini Shrek sticker on top of the meth as well. Ultimate mentally ill snack donation combo. I don't think it was intended. Like, as soon as I saw the news article hit the, um, hit the headlines, my immediate thought was, uh, oh, someone's using the charity to, uh, kind of, like, launder drugs through a, through a system. And I don't think that was supposed to have gone through there. I, yeah, like, I don't think it was intended that that was supposed to be donated. I think what's more likely is that uh, just the wrong bag of candy ended up being donated. Or, like, somebody's dad or, or mum, a kind-hearted soul, it, like, went into their son's room or something and uh, found this old bag of candy and they were like, oh, well, he's not coming back for a while. I'll, uh, I'll just donate this. Why not? Someone will like the candy. And it was meth. It was pure methamphetamine. All right, we've got a bunch of new stuff. We've got a black freakish horn, which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Now, I'm hoping he's not going to, like, fire fireballs or something. So let's actually just stay here for a little bit. Ain't no way he flew away. He did fly away. He flew away like an asshole, didn't he? Let's come to our equipment, because we found a bunch of other things. I don't know if we can wear them. Ah, uh, we can't. Oh, Scarby can wear those. Okay, let's give them to Scarby. And what about these other things? We found some feral cape. It's exactly the same, but black. I vibe it. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, Val also found something too, right? Flame skirt! Can Scarby use it? Yes! Excellent. Let's give it to Scarby, and we'll see whether or not she likes it. Scarby, what do you think of these pants? Oh, she actually loves them. Holy hell, these things are powerful. Jesus. Okay, we're not going to be using the Emissary Greaves anymore, even though they look kind of cool. What else we got? Half chain hosen? Uh, we could probably replace it with these iron bandings. It gives us way better magic resistances and lowers our physical defense by one. It also gives resistance against sleep, which is kind of OP. Let's go ahead and do that. 
What else has she got? She got these uh, dragon hide braces. They look really cool. And they're powerful. Okay, done. That was easy. And what about this helmet? It sucks. And she can't use it. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, didn't we find another bow? Maybe not. I'm going to give this Lancer Sword to Scarby to increase her weight so whenever she grapples something, it uh, drags it down. Great. Ooh. For real? All that big talk just to leave? He's a big talk kind of guy. He doesn't do anything in half measures. Oh, that is fire. <laughs> what an asshole. Stand here. Oh, okay. Sure, let's make our stand here, Scarby. That's a great idea. When three it. of us four are out of range of him. Actually, what if I cast a bowl light? What would happen? I, do you think that would actually hit him? Or do you think it's like, do you think he's too far away? Go, Scarby. Go, Scarby. Shoot him in the heart. Oh, I think she's really tired. Can make our stand here. Okay, hi, bowl light. Let's see if it attacks. Let's see if we land. Is it doing it? Not really, no. Oh, no, it's just attacking around us. Who's? Okay. I tried to cheese him. Oh, yeah, that's the spell, by the way. Just uh, comets fly from the sky. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'll wait for him to do his big attack right there. We need better stamina generation. Our stamina regen is actually crap. I don't know how we can kind of, like, improve it without kind of, like, uh, like skills or something. And we kind of want to dump all of our... It doesn't matter if we're too tired. We kind of want to dump all of our augments. Not skills. Our augments into uh, kind of, like, damage capability. Because at this point, we don't really have a lot of uh, damage capability. We must get it. It's hot. Okay, let's do that. Let's wait until he fires his load off. Is a troubling foe. The okay, good. Scarby just got hit by that. That's funny. Let's go. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, okay. That was so close. Bye bye. Funko goes around. Funko go around. Haha. -ha. He's like an Elmo. <laughs> He's like an Elmo, but short and angry. <laughs> Elmo afraid of dragon. Elmo hate dragon. Elmo xenophobic. This hill will get us up above. Really? This isn't a hill, Scarby. Jesus, read the room. Literally, like I say that idiom, that idiom completely seriously, but uh, she she didn't read the room. It's made of stone. It's not a hill. Whoa, cool view though. Look at this. God, I love this game so much. There's another collapsed tower down there. Bunch of ruins all over the place. They didn't have to put this here. This could be like a, just, it just mountains all around the place. Yes, give it a taste of the ballista. Or baluster, as I've always called it. Because I say things wrong. I learn everything by reading, so I don't know how to pronounce a lot of words, like papyrus. Okay, we're here. Everyone, get on the ballista. Or not. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is! It's so close! Oh! Fight! Cling to life! Ah! The dragon comes! Get on the ballista! Get on it! Get on the ballista! Alright, where is it? There it is. I missed. Bang! Boom, boom, into your heart! Okay, we took a hit. How do we fire this again? No, that's get off it. Oh, I'm really tired, too. Oh, that's right. All right, go, Scarby. Go, Scarby. You take it out. I, I trust in you. She's probably actually a far more qualified ranger, right? No, how could you miss? Okay. Do we get hit? No, we did not. I'm getting on this one now. All right, where is it? Damn, I know how to fire this thing around. Uh, I'm going to fire a shot right here. Boom. It's going in. Boom. I hit him right in the chest. It's pronounced poop pyres. Poop pyres. That doesn't sound right. What the hell? Oh, he just ate crap. <laughs> he tried to do like a scooter trick. He tried to do like a uh, like one of those tricks where people kind of like spin their vape up in the air and they catch it in their mouth and they suck on the whole thing until it dies. And then just like this huge cloud goes and fills up the room. Also, that was Epic Flying Horse's um, flat warming. That, that's his party trick. He can empty the charge of a vape in a single puff. Pitiable, wingless human, return to the earth. I refuse! I refuse to return to the earth! I've got better things to do! I'm going to kill you! I'm coming! I'm crawling up your tail! I'm ready for a quick time event! Are those harpies? Oh no! No, not harpies! <laughs> They're approaching! 
Nix aufs Lolli! Ja. Oh. Good. <laughs> I'm serious about that quick time event. Bro, I got shot, he did, he got glad. Your very heart rests here within me. Yep, I know, that's why I'm here. I'm here to get it! I want my heart back! Oh yeah, yeah uh, I went up to Christchurch for this gig, right? For Alpha Wolf. God, that was so good live. They were actually better live than they were kind of like naturally playing their music. So I wrote Invent Animate, the band that uh, we were listening to at the start of this. But Carl and I went up with uh, my, my best buddy Carl. Carl and I wanted to stop off and get some food somewhere and we were looking around on uh, Google for like good restaurants around us and we found this one place that I kid you not had this like this huge gigantic burger full of craply cooked patties like four of them and a block of cheese in between each one and I was looking at, that, looking at it and I was like Jesus that's excessive and then Google was like do you want to name this dish so I was like okay sure triple bypass and then I sent and then it was like, thank you for contributing to Google reviews. I was like, oh no, what have I done? So I named a burger. And then we found another place uh, that we kind of actually did end up getting food at. I think it was called like Gluck Gluck Cuck or no, Gluck 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 Duck. Cluck 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 Chicken, no. Cluck Cluck Slurp, it was called Cluck Cluck Slurp. They are so damn good. Oh my God. I never thought I'd ever get a sandwich made of uh, pulled pork in New Zealand. Because usually we have revolting uh, places to get food at. All right, there's the heart. Also our heart, consequently. We're going down, down. In the nuclear run. And Funko the is gonna kill Dragon. The is past. The world will have its answer. You or me, death or life beyond. We need a maximum damage if potential. Aught, Please take it, Scarby. I can't take that heart. single hit. Such is the contest. I might be going down, 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 down. The heart alone is vulnerable. Okay, let's try bowl light because that was, for God's sake, it was super potent, wasn't it? I'm gonna jump over there. So and now let's do a bowl light. With cowardice arisen. You have chosen your path. Oh, that was close. <laughs> we always just got hit by a gigantic rock. Okay, Scarby is actually about to be converted, which is just the pits. Hopefully, Bolide can kind of like change her mind. Let's see. Boom, boom, into your chest. Boom, boom, Bolide is fast. Alright, he managed to convert her, which uh, kind of sucks ass, I think. Alright, there we go. Damn, she just got sent. We probably, oh, piss off. We can actually probably just like uh, ignore her for a bit and let the others attack Scarby until she dies. And then we get her back up. Revolting? <laughs> yeah, 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 I love that word. Okay, let's skip this, if we can. Yep, good. The hour for turning back is past. The world will have its answer. You or me. Death, Death or, or life, life beyond. beyond. I feel like I can do a better dragon voice if than he can. If you would gain aught, give all your here Such now. Is Such is the contest you have, DZ. Okay, good. Let's cast Bolide just straight off the bat. Go, attack. Well, that was close. We almost absolutely ate dust. Hopefully he's not going to do that tail swing again because we will be hit by it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Why didn't we get any armor? <laughs> we are the definition of a glass cannon. Awesome cutscene. It is really cool, isn't it? When we beat him, by the way, that is when I would consider the game to start. Like, I'm not joking by this, by the way. The post-game content of Dragon's Dogma is about the same size as the game itself. That's not even including the big DLC area, which was released as a free update. Okay, so go. Everyone, go and attack it. Well. Use initiative. And hopefully we aren't going to absolutely eat dirt. What are you doing? Attack it. Destroy. Fine, I'll Raise open the, fine, the first moves. Dickheads. Where you, where's he going? Watch out, Scarby. All right, good. I'm going to attack his knees. Show me your power. If he's really, really old, then maybe that'll... Uh, oh. If he's really, really old, then maybe we'll be able to kind of like... 
Joe kind of like uh, inflame his joints. We'll win by attrition. He'll be like, oh, my knees hurt. And he'll just go home. Mind that tail. Okay, I will. Thank you for saying so, Gemma. with me, death itself. Stay the fires of destruction. Yes, that is such a cool line. Slay me and with it, death itself. Uh, a little bit. Let's get on top of this rock so that we don't get hit by uh, most of the attacks. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the advice. Honestly, if Gemma could shut the hell up, that would be ideal, right? Oh, you idiot. He's closer. He's closer to us. And now we fire comets. Oh no, I think he's getting the comets ready. Watch for its all of them are missing. Tis the will of the master oh no, all of the them are missing. I'm just making sure that he's not actually firing on me. Oh, he's aggroed on me. Oh, piss. Oh, come on, that. How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? <laughs> he might be a tough fight. He might be a tough fight, but the post-game content is definitely worth beating the game for. The world will have its answer. Again, I'm not going to like spoil the story because it's just so goddamn awesome. Everyone who has ever beaten this game knows Dragon's Dogma, and quite likely Dragon's Dogma 2, to just be one of the best written uh, RPG games ever made. Like Skyrim's got a pretty good story, right? There's kind of like civil wars going on. There's obviously something going on with the uh, with the dragons who are supposed to be gods. But this game, you are literally the sun that the entire game kind of... Oh, perfect. We can cast a bowl out here. That the whole game revolves around. It is so sick. Like this this dragon right here. He actually does represent death itself. Okay, I'm firing. I'm firing my laser. Uh, Gemma is unfortunately our tank. And fortunately, we have uh, absolutely crippled her. Okay, great. They are landing. Excellent. Not doing a hell of a lot of damage though, unfortunately. I feel like he's aggroed onto us. Let's run a little bit. Oh, he is aggroed onto us. Oh, oh we took down one of his health bars. That's pretty good. Uh, piss! Run! Run! Run, Funko! With your tiny- Oh, piss off. Seriously? Back! Hey, King of Spiders. How you doing? I am just, uh, dying over and over again to the, uh, to the tutorial boss. Just in case anybody hasn't seen the first episode of this game. The game opens with, well, after the prologue, obviously. When we actually take control of our character, this is the first enemy we fight, and it's an intentional, you're supposed to lose kind of battle. A lot like how uh, FromSoft games start their games out. Okay, let's get everybody. I think that we should probably... Average Monster Hunter experience. No, no, we are a glass cannon. There's a, like, by definition, we're a glass. Every single hit that he will do will one-shot us. But we don't need to be hit. We're just being no, really, really greedy. So first of all, right, we need to get around him. We need to get around the dragon and we need to kind of like fire from his flanks. That's probably the safest place to be aside from just kind of like underneath his, uh, his tummy. All right, he might reorient before he fires. Okay, I fired one. Let's go ahead, get out of the way. I just want to kind of like attack him so that all of the others start attacking as well. Excellent. Done. Excellent. Uh, perfect. Let's cast Caesar. I think this is going to be a really, really good one. Now, he took our. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, just sitting on my foot really quickly while I'm also trying to cast the spell. Oh, they knocked uh, Vel out of his hands. That's very rare. Oh, piss off. No, 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 no! Okay, perfect. And we are casting! We're not close enough. <laughs> oh, no, we are close enough! Okay, good. Hopefully it's not gonna- Whoa, that could have killed us if we didn't move as well. Do you like my humor? Of course I like your humor! Of course I like your humor! We have played uh, quite a bit of Monster Hunter on the channel as well, so we- we all know no. just how frustrating no. that game can be. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and maybe cast Levin on his hand. Oh, never mind. Why bother? Let's cast it on his head. Sure, done. Uh, go away. Go away, dragon. Oh, piss off! I wasn't even under his hand! This is the average Monster Hunter experience. We don't get carted too much in Monster Hunter, though. We're pretty good at it. I I'm a Kinsec Glaive main on Monster Hunter, so I tend to, like, not even be anywhere near the kind of <laughs> the attacks that the monsters do in the first place. 
Oh, Unless they're aerial uh, monsters. Like, Rathian is, is probably really annoying if you to fight as a Kinsec Glaive Mine. But you can do a lot of damage to him as a Kinsec Glaive Mine. And so retrospectively, he doesn't have it. Oh, we don't want to be here. We can actually be in a pretty good spot by fighting him. Okay, good. Your weapon, your teeth of steel, ah! your blood red that was lucky. Voice. We probably want to use Holy against him, right? If he is literally death himself. Yeah, good, good grab, idiot. Uh, maybe we cast... Let's try for a Maelstrom. I just... I've got a feeling that he's going to kind of do a big tail attack on us behind here. Oh, this is not good. Maelstrom? Maelstrom? No, that's going to be fire. We're running. We're running. Gap it. Gap it, guys. Also attack him. Bro, make a piss off counter when you edit this as a bot. <laughs> That's a sound bite that nobody wants a recording of. Just me just like piss off over and over again. Alright, good. He's uh, trying to grab someone. He missed. That's actually annoying. Yes, I know! Scarby, we are attacking the heart. I am casting High Maelstrom on his heart as we speak. Right here. Boom! Nice! That was actually a really, really big hit. Uh, we are kind of tired. Go! Go, everybody! I think he just leapt out of the way. Uh, we're actually going to have to just, like, sit here and catch our, our breath. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Haspid. Probably just one should be fine. And then we've got enough stamina to kind of, like, get out of the way of damage. Uh, we did an entire health bar's worth of damage, by the way. I also can't see... Oh, my God, that was so close. We almost just ate dirt again. Oh! I know how to, how to fight such a thing. We need to go and find a Ballastay, which is going to be up here, first of all, I think. Where is it? Here he is. Okay, I'm tired. This isn't good. Yes, we are going to need a Ballastang. Imagine this is the final boss. No, this is the tutorial boss. The final boss is actually way harder than this guy. Like, so, wait. Well, actually, in a way, there's two more endgame bosses. There's, a, there's an endgame boss for the campaign, which we will get through real fast. And there's also a endgame boss for the DLC who is incredibly frustrating to deal with, especially as a glass cannon, because he's got so many nuke attacks. Just gigantic area of effect, kill everyone attacks. Oh my God. Wonder what they're doing down there. I hope they, <laughs> I hope they're gaining aggro. Cause I sure as hell aren't. I say, running away from the attacks. Okay, I, I'm gonna wait for him to actually pop another one. I know there's a ballistae up here and we're gonna use it to our adva, where is it? <laughs> oh no. There it is, good. All right, let's do this. Hopefully he doesn't fire something. He's about to fire something. Boom. Okay, good. Did it land? Yeah, it did actually, good. Another. Okay, he's not firing it at me, which is nice. Ah, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Good going, Gemma. <laughs> She's on fire. The dragon be trolling now. I know, right? He, now he's dragging these nuts against us. What an asshole. Monster Hunter as well, with the flying as well, plus the animation is similar. It is, isn't it? Um, uh, they're made by the same people. Capcom uh, made both the Dragon's Dogma series and the uh, Monster Hunter series. So if they look similar, it's probably because the same people made them. We could probably actually cast Holy on ourselves and then kind of like fire some Fire and Forgets. Watch out, everyone. Oh, that was close. Jim almost bit the dust again. Very, very close. Could have been very potent. Oh, he's coming down! Such a thing. No, they hold the advantage. No, they hold the advantage. See his Gemma. No, they hold the advantage. Uh, reach it from the ground. Help me! The advantage is theirs. We can't reach it from the ground. What do you mean, head the means to shoot? Do you not see where I am? <laughs> what do you mean? How do we fight such a thing? The answer is obvious. Okay, I'm gonna fire an explosive shot. And yes, here we go. Boom! Into the wing. Nice. Excellent. Let's go and press our advantage because he is going to be down for a little bit. No, Aim for Oof. The at least he isn't protected. firing at me two seconds later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the offensive. I'm trying. I'll take care of that for you. Attack when it reels. Okay, thank you. I love how Jim is all like, "Here's a command. Also, I'll do it." Everyone attack! I'm attacking! Like, obviously. Come on. Oh, no. 
I think this is a big nasty. We got hit, by the way. And we lost all of our stamina for that and all of our damage potential. Oh, he's red! I don't know what that means. Okay, let's try let's try for holy affinity. Assuming he doesn't use his tail attack, which he may. Oh, he's down! Everyone, attack him! Attack his heart! Go! I hope you're doing damage, guys. And what is more, oh, it is lore! We just found out he's undead. Okay, good. There's some holy. I think that under here is actually very safe. Assuming that we can kind of stay under here. And we also have a direct uh, kind of line to attack his heart as well. Which is kind of like his crit spot. Ow. My face. I just got smacked right in the, right in the face. Boom, boom. Into your heart. Just as it is yours. Uh, let's go. Let's go. That's a tail attack coming. That's a fire attack coming. All right. Neither of which we want to be hit by. Does it? Oh, okay, Gemma. Th uh, thanks. <laughs> Can't believe these people. At least Val isn't screaming like an asshole. All right. We're going to have to get Gemma and uh, Scarby up, unfortunately. Well, run! The dragon comes! The dragon comes! I'm getting Scarby up! The dragon comes! The dragon comes! Nice! Way to shoot him in the face, guys! Awesome! Excellent. Bro is Taco Bell breath. <laughs> Not here in New Zealand. That would be wet. They'd be dead though. They are. Yeah, so... Here's this uh, kind of annoying spell that one hits um, all of your pawns. Fortunately, I built Val on another account to kind of like be able to tank death. She's got a, it's not, I wouldn't call it weak. I wouldn't call it a weak attack. But what it does is uh, the special on the side, I'll just show you guys actually, it's pretty cool. We go into equipment. Uh, I have specialized Val right here. It's kind of like a, a constant healer. So she doesn't have a lot of attacks, but what she does have is this staff right here. Which, uh, a staff imbued with a small piece of an Arisen's heart. Born to equip it, quickly revive after falling unconscious. She literally never dies unless you throw her off of a ledge or into water or something like that. So she's just going to consistently kind of like get everyone up. Oh no, is that Bolite? That could one hit us. That seems like Geisel that he's casting now. Oh, piss off. He is actually casting all of- Oh my god! That wasn't mine. Maybe we fight fire with fire. Like, quite literally, he is a dragon. The bots are like Palicos from Monster Hunter. I use them as cannon fodder, so I'm not targeted by the monster. Yep! That's exactly what they are. That was a weird attack. We're gonna have to go and get Gemma up as well. So we'll fire off this bowl light, and then we will uh, use a couple of these Harsper juices to kind of top off our stamina. And now we're gonna go and get the only person who's not our own pawn up. Good. Now, we want to attack his hand. Gemma is going to be doing a bit of damage. I'm going to be doing a bit of damage. Fortunately, we've actually got maximized damage potential with the Cage of Fury, so we are doing a lot of damage, but unfortunately it means... Whoa! We are getting uh, aggroed against. Guys, you want to maybe, I don't know, like, take aggro? Go! Whoa, that was a good dodge! <laughs> yeah, no, it is very similar to Monster Hunter, but, like, with very high stakes. Because if you get carted in Monster Hunter, you've got a few tries, but in this game... If you die, you gotta revert to a save. Okay, I'm getting Scarby up. Uh, good luck, lady. I think I'm attacking his heart. I was not attacking his heart. Uh, we need to move, because he's doing, gonna, oh no, his uh, fire's coming. Every time he jumps backwards. Uh, okay, that's all of our pawns about to die. So let's go ahead and just kind of like use our stamina potion because we need them. Save right here. No, you can't save uh, during combat. That's, that's kind of like the caveat. Uh, are they dead? Oh. Cool attack! Cool attack! Okay, attack it! Attack the heart! Let's go for Maelstrom again. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, okay, awesome. Guys, go! Press advantage. I'm gonna cast Maelstrom, cast Maelstrom against his heart if I can. Yes, I can see that, guys! Okay, and down he goes! Attack Down you go, Buckaroo! Look at that damage! This is why I am a sorcerer, mate. Oh, he's literally just run away. Okay, uh, we need to use another Harsbird. Done. Get our stamina back up. 
And now we run. 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 Go. Go, everybody. Press my, press my advantage. Okay, I'm getting away from him. Oh, that was close. All right, he's going to do a big old fire. He just jumped into my maelstrom. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what an actual asshole! <laughs> that was close. We almost just bit the dust. Quickly, Guys, press, press the advantage. Uh, let's go for a season. Take the offensive. No, nothing that we kind of have to stay in place for. All right, that seems like a lot of damage right there. Good. Uh, I'm gonna wait until that spell dissipates, and then I'm gonna go and get everybody up. Like Gemma right here, perfect, and Scarby right here, done. Running. Away from him! Gorgeous. We've got maximum damage potential as well, so we're probably in a really good spot to use a... Literally any spell. Or, like, maybe this? No, that doesn't really do a lot of damage. All right, guys. Go! Val is probably actually about to die. Scarby is probably also a little bit toast, but... She's only toast because she's burning to death. Like, literally burning to death. I'm going to get away from that. Good. Guys, do some attacks. What are you doing? Oh, would you look at that? Val is actually healing everybody. That's exactly how I built her to be. Whoa! Whoa! No, we resending comments? Advantage. I would actually love to stream with you one day. That'd be awesome, actually. Um, wait until I get, like, uh, Minecraft duos with Skyblock or something like that. Can't wait until the dragon is gone. The name of the game would just be Dogma. Piss off! No! I shouldn't have looked away from the screen. I shouldn't have looked away from the screen. <laughs> Regardless, regardless, we'll keep on trying. Yeah, uh, dogma means, it's, it's basically a word that kind of means the end of. So it, it'll make sense when the game is over, because we, uh, like, after you beat the dragon, that's when I consider the game to actually start. Okay, we uh, just died, we lost all of our progress, but we can fight him again. There's always a silver lining, right? Which is that we get to keep on fighting the dragon. We've just kind of like got a couple of crap pawns. Usually when my own personal pawn is an archer, they kind of suck a little bit. They suck ass to be... Did we take damage before we even got hit? By that, I'm, I'm pretty sure we did. Maybe we just want to try range. Or maybe we want to try just being under his stomach at all times. That's probably the way, right? You might like scrap mechanic or generation zero. I hated generation zero. I pre-ordered that and I played it on PC when it came out. I streamed it. It has so many problems with it, and they still haven't been patched out. Every single issue that I've had with the game um, still hasn't been patched out. Why do bullets have weight? That's annoying. That's re it's really annoying that bullets have weight. Um, there's no swimming mechanic. You just walk along the bottom of any water surface, and uh, there's no like indicator that you're drowning, but you are drowning. Uh, and usually you can't get back up. If you jump in between like two tiny little uh, fences, and they're made of stone, you are stuck. You can't leave there. You're done. So if you're trying to, like... It's, it's just above. basic navigation that I've got a problem with in that game. Which is a shame, because, you know, the game is literally just... Travel, shoot, wait... Oh, my God. Did that guy just aimbot me? Pretty sure he just aimbotted me. Although, to be fair, I couldn't see him past that rock. Most of those bugs are fixed as of now. Oh, they must have done it this year then, because they were they were completely broken when I was playing it again, uh, end of last year. Just privately, I, I just wanted to see if they fixed anything. Oh, the bikes are also revolting to fly. Yes, I mean fly. <laughs> you, you, uh, if, if you get on the, a bike and it's on like a kind of uneven weird surface, uh, you'll be shot up into the sky. And of course, fall damage. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna die from that, of course, so. Um, if you get onto a bike and it flies up into the sky, it's just guaranteed death. Oh, that's not good. Guys, shoot him in the hand! Or in the face, sure. Let's, let's just maximize damage potential. I should probably just wail on his heart, right? Jim is not particularly interesting to us. This is actually kind of potent. Ah, uh, we should have just cast Maelstrom, shouldn't we? Okay, now Jim is going to start attacking us, which is just annoying. Uh, or not. Val just absolutely rinsed her. <laughs> oh, is he going to do the shot that the fire? Oh, I should have baited him to hitting Gemma. Oh, I did bait him into hitting Gemma. Get away from me! <laughs> nice. Okay, none of those hits landed, unfortunately. Good thing she's so slow and useless, huh? Okay, that looks like Bolide. Uh, oh no. 
is, is that Bolide? Me, death itself. Or not? Stay Maybe it's not Bolide. Destruction. Huh. Okay, gonna do a bit of magic attacks. Let's go ahead and just fire at these at Gemma, because obviously we're not gonna be able to do anything until she's down. Oh, piss off! <sighs> Having one of the pawns like that is usually a death sentence. Shooter's eye and he won't see. What, like in this game? Instant karma? <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. Um, the auto kind of like lock on isn't particularly useful though. Back is past. Okay, we're back at Tainted Mountain Peak. We need to fell the dragon by our own hand. Not hands, hand. One single hand. We're gonna beat him off. We're gonna beat him off real hard. And he's gonna be like, oh, I can't, I can't handle this anymore. He's gonna be like, give me death. Give me death. No second death. Just no little death. Just death. Okay, let's just wail into his heart immediately every chance we get. Let's try and get some of that damage potential back up. Maybe we'll fire a Maelstrom to get our damage potential all the way to maximum. And we'll only do kind of like, we won't do a high Maelstrom, we'll just do a single normal. Okay, I don't know if he grabbed somebody, but no, he did not. And he had to look in his hand. That was a huge amount of damage, oh my word. And we've maximized damage potential. Perfect. Uh, let's use a single Harspid Juice to get our stamina back so we can dodge whatever's coming. Whoa! That was close. He jumped back into the Maelstrom. He's still at Oh, no! Are you serious? Oh, this guy is so rough. Instant noodles aren't instant random effect. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that. Hey there, Caden Samuel. Welcome back to the stream. I recognize your name, not your profile picture. The world will have its answer. You or me, death or life beyond. Okay, it uh, looks like I have kind of like chosen death repeatedly over and over again, but I think we're probably going to make a different choice now, right? Such is the we'll wait until he starts grabbing at people again. Or we could just fire a maelstrom right here, and if we die, so be it. Oh no, not us! Have you come so far to be stricken with cowards? Where the hell am I? Am I in his mouth? Chosen your path. What? What am I doing in his mouth? There is not I was in his mouth. For those who will I've not never give seen it before. Uh, this will be a tail attack. Good, we just got out of it. Okay, we lost, uh, well, we didn't actually have any damage potential, so, you know, perfect. Yes, do that, everyone. Uh, let's do a little maelstrom. A little death right at his chest. He missed. He tried to light us on fire and he completely missed. All right. Instant noodles aren't instant. Random fact. Yes, true. It's, it's a psyop. It's marketing. Y'all getting hit by marketing. We need to dodge that. Yep. Definitely dodge that. Oh, what the hell? He aimbotted us again. Okay. I've got a new strategy. It's not going to be amazing to watch, right? Because uh, we have gimped ourselves right from the start of the game. If your character is like tall, you can actually run faster around the place. We are as short as as possibly can be. So we're just going to have to not be attacked in the first place, right? So let's like stick to the high ground and we'll start casting from up there and hopefully we'll like land some of it. Uh, I'll open with a maelstrom if I can. Uh, no, I've got a better idea. How about we actually die? We'll we'll bite some dust, and then we'll just hit retry. That's okay. My attrition is much higher than this dragon's. This dragon's gonna get frustrated with me before I get frustrated with him. He isn't sad. And by that I mean he's not a really boring fight to watch. I'm gonna leave the stream. Okay, King of Spiders, you have yourself a great day or night. I don't know what time it is. If you would gain aught, Okay, let's continue on with to the side. Yeah, let's play cautiously. Let's be conservative. I know he opens with this big fire attack, which we can dodge pretty consistently. Let's start firing. Oh, there's attacks right here. I, now, I don't think the... What? I don't think the kind of like damage potential that scales off of this weapon has anything to do with the damage done. I think it's the quantity of damage is done. Like, okay, if he grabs anyone. No, he did not. He's probably actually going to try and grab... It's snowing again. Oh my god, I can't believe that. He's probably going to try and grab at somebody again, because he he like he quite likes to spam that skill. Damn, if I didn't cancel that skill and jump, we would have just died again. Okay, good. Let's try for... No, not Bolide. Maelstrom. Let's go for a Maelstrom. And if we have to kind of, like, 
dip. You have chosen your path. What? How the hell did we get hit by that? We were under him. There is no he just smacked us with his actual bum hole. Will not give what a guy. All right, new strategy. We're going under the tummy. Never mind. Looks like we're not going under the tummy whatsoever. All right, he's facing us so we can go and run underneath his tummy. Stop! No! Stop! No! 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 Stop doing that! He's literally just interrupting attacks now. Stop it! What a dick! Oh, piss off. Seriously, we haven't even done any damage. Okay, I accidentally just got Vile up and uh, we got 49 health. Uh, we didn't get Scarby up even though we did the animation for it. Uh, we got another character uh, kind of like in his mouth. How did we get picked up? He hit us with his elbow and we're dead. This is stupid. This is actually stupid. <laughs> Like, I don't want to, like... There's always a cop-out, right? When people are, are kind of, like, losing a boss over and over again, they, they say that the boss design is bad. It's not the boss design. It's the scaling of, of mages, because that's all we've done. We've only scaled into mages. We can't go back and level up anymore. We are literally locked into this fight. We don't have a choice. So it would be kind of nice, at least, if there was an option to just leave this enormous, huge fight... To kind of like get a little bit more experience in any other class or vocation because we can't change that and that is really uh the main issue right now uh, let's try for maelstrom and if we have to bail out we will jesus literally a snowstorm outside where i live okay that's stupid that's stupid design and the reason i say that is because that is the third time that i have consciously been aware that we've been hit by that tail attack when the tail is on the opposite is side of the dragon. Like, the, the, the dragon does a spin, right? And we get hit by the, the tail a good half a second before the tail actually physically comes into contact with our player model. And usually this game's really, really good with um, with hitboxes and stuff like that, but uh, with that, one that one specific attack has killed us probably more than every other attack put together. Simply because the timing of it is just incorrect. This game also... This game's been out for well over a decade. Okay, perfect. This is a great time for a maelstrom. Just a little maelstrom, I think. I don't know if Gemma has the ability to not get turned, but we are about to attack. Boom. Let's put that there. Okay, maximum damage potential now, which is awesome, and we save Gemma. Perfect. All right, good. He's going to do a big tail attack. Let's run away. Your blood red we just don't want to be anywhere near that tail. That tail's hitboxes are just incorrect. That one was fair enough, honestly. We got hit by that one. Okay, let's try again. It's fair enough. It's fair. When he does the hand swipe, that's fair enough. We just weren't paying close enough attention. You've got like half a second to react to it, and if you're not kind of like, if you are casting a spell, there are more buttons you have to press. You got to hit space bar to cancel the spell, then you got to jump up over the attack. Uh, so you got to double tap space bar, and if you kind of like mash space bar, you'll kind of screw yourself as well because you also want to levitate above the hand. If you don't levitate above the hand, you'll just be hit by it. So you want to double tap space bar whenever you see that instead of doing um, what you would want to do, which is mash space bar. Really? Good luck. Oh my god, that is literally the first time she's actually been doing that. Okay, we're going to do a maelstrom. Scarby is literally climbing the wrong way. Good for her. Good for her, though. Good for her. More power to you, Scarby. And boom. Maelstrom to the chest. And we've got maximum damage potential. Awesome. That is one HP bar down. He's probably going to do a gigantic tail attack now. Never mind. I think it's going to start spewing fire. There he goes. Excellent. Uh, we jumped that as well. We had to double... Oh, Gemma's dead. Oh, sucks to be her, I think. All right, let's go get her up. Bye-bye, Dragon Man. Okay, good. We'll get Gemma up and... She's actually a terrible uh, character to have here with the dragon fight as well. Simply because she's got a two-handed sword, which attacks way too slow. She did just land one really big hit, but she's not supposed to. Oh, that was a good series of hits as well. All right, that is a kill shot um, spell. All of them are probably going to die now. If we don't get them away from that, good. Uh, let's get away from that attack. It's going to be a big old beam of fire. Gemma just ran into it and died. Val is also dead, but uh, honestly, quite frankly, Gemma should have known better. Uh, we just got uh, eaten. Come on. Come on. I don't know if we get hit in here. 
Because we aren't taking any damage, but I think it's just annoying for us to be out of the fight in the first place. All right, let's run. Let's go get Gemma. Oh, Val just got uh, geiseled, I think. Uh, probably going to be fire next. We probably want to run. Good, he actually grabbed at someone. We weren't really paying attention, so it's, it's pretty good that uh, we didn't. We've also only done uh, half of a bar of damage to him. Which is really crap, actually. Still here? That's good, Spray Paints. Uh, you can watch us die over and over again. Don't know what Val's up to. All of them are faster than me, so I don't really understand why they're uh, closing the gap so slowly. Maybe... Maybe we try our luck with the Ballistae. Yeah, there's one right here, actually. Let's try this. We must get it. It's hard. Okay. Okay, Scarby. Okay. Uh, explosive shot. Boom. Fired. I don't know if it actually did any damage, but I'm pretty sure it was better than nothing, right? Fire one right at his chest there. Didn't really do a lot of damage. And fire again. And let's get off of this thing in case that spell has been cast on us. It is not perfect. Who? Who have I trained well? Oh, the pawns. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that was all me. That was all me. Oh, in his knee. I think I actually missed. No, I hit him in the penis. That's good. That's good. That's good. Is he attacking us? Yep. Run. <laughs> oh, my God. What a mess. And we're tired. <laughs> we're really tired. Everyone go. Oh, not us. Come on. That, that, that's a rough attack, by the way. If you get knocked down... Uh, you can't escape it. Uh, we also just lost all of our damage potential, which sucks as well. I got an intervention. That's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and try and maybe get up here. There might be another ballistae. Yep, there are a couple up here. Good. It's, it's, sorry, buddy. It's it's you're going down. Oh no! Oh, this could be really bad. Uh, I'm firing lots of attacks right here. Uh, we've got two ballistae, actually. Beautiful! Okay, good. Let's fire an explosive shot down here. Hit him in the head. Excellent. Go, everybody! Press your advantage! Press! I don't see pressing! Okay, I think I missed, but we did get the splash damage on his heart, which is pretty good. It's reeling! It's always real! Uh, we know it's real! Oh, damn it! Oh my god, that spell is so garbage! Ugh! I'm leaving watch this on my TV. It's okay. You watch it on any platform you want. If you want to watch this on a Samsung fridge, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. We just lost all of that progress again. A little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Will have its answer. You or me. We are still playing this on the hardest difficulty, by the way. Straight off the bat, and we still have no armor. We're a mage as well, so we're really squishy. Okay, so first thing we need is to dodge this fire attack, which we can just like walk around, I suppose. And then we need to uh, kind of like hope that he does a grab attack next and grab someone. Okay, that was close. We almost uh, got hit by that tail attack right there. Uh, there's another tail attack coming. Nice try, buddy. Let's try for Maelstrom again. Hopefully he's going to go and... Okay, I jumped that and we still got hit anyway, so unfortunately, that was unfortunate. But again, it is what it is. Let's just try again. This is kind of like the Sans fight, isn't it? It's it's actually fun, though. I'm I'm still really enjoying fighting this guy. Even though we keep on dying, it's still fun. It's still really, really fun to do. Death or life beyond. Well, I've chosen death so far. Okay, good. We also didn't upgrade any of our weapons past, like, level one as well. We're massively under-leveled for here. Okay, let's slip this by going sideways. We'll do a couple of attacks right on his chest because it's funny. Excellent, we've aggroed onto him, I think. Let's keep on just firing away at him. Whoa, Gemma! Good grief! Okay, I actually jumped into that one. But in retrospect, that was just a death loop. There was no way of getting out of that. There was literally no way of getting out of that. That was obviously going to be a big sweep. We just didn't have the stamina to continue right. We could probably have used a bunch of Harsper juices, but we didn't. Oops. It'd be nice if we could kind of, like, skip this initial dialogue. But I know why it's there. I know why it's there. It's, it's so that the game can kind of, like, load properly. Okay, let's just walk sideways. We'll slowly meander at literally the speed of a snail. All right, thanks uh, for locking onto the wrong area. Let's go under him. Or at least out of the uh, path of his fire. And then we'll start firing away at his chest. Good. That was good enough. 
Hopefully he's not going to do a tail attack. No. Good, he's doing fire. We almost died as well. I'm jumping. Good, and now let's just fire away at his chest. We are getting increased damage potential. Yeah, that's a big attack. Uh, don't want to be hit by that. Uh, we don't want to attack there. No, don't want to attack there either. So again, don't want to attack there. Why are you auto attack? tail attack is, is it's it's frustrating it's, it's to say the least it's, it's a frustrating tail attack it is a really frustrating tail attack because the hitboxes are completely incorrect it's not me that, uh, 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 dying to that tail attack is not the player's fault whatsoever it's exclusively the fault of the of the game developers kind of like artificially inflating the um, amount of damage that you take all right let's Get, let's get hit by this. Go! Help! Or not. Or we can get one hit by that. That's fine as well, guys. That's fine. Thank you, everybody! I was hoping for a stun. I was hoping that that would stun him onto the ground. I was hoping not to be hit by that grab. I'm actually pretty sure there was another pawn in the way as well, so I'm not entirely sure why we got hit by it. Okay. I'm just gonna try playing with one hand at this point. It seems like every time we actually try and deal damage, we just screw it up. So maybe we should just be playing this super conservatively. Okay, good. Let's attack his face a couple of times. One of those landed, that's fine. Guys, attack, you idiots! What are you doing? Don't just stand around. Deal damage, because I sure as hell can't. Okay, we'll go for the heart. Come on, guys. Nope, that's not where I aimed! What are you doing, Bunko? Okay, he's going to do the big fire spew now. That's always what he does when he jumps backwards. There he goes. Good shot, dragon. Very nice. Okay, good. We've actually done quite a bit of damage, considering we're not really doing anything. Okay, that was probably the first time that we actually got hit by the, the character model that time. Like, I think we've died to that about 15 times. That one single tail swing. W graphics forever. This game came out in 2011. I'll point that out. It came out in 2011. The world Although I completely agree, it is really good graphically. Or me. Death or life beyond. Okay, I picked death. Let's die again. If you would gain aught, give your all. Let's eat. Let's eat dirt. Such Let's eat dirt like straight out of the game. Let's get hit by whatever this is. Or not. Okay, auto attack onto the heart. It didn't do anything. Okay, again, didn't auto attack to the heart. That's a bit frustrating as well. He didn't, he didn't hit Val, which is quite nice, and he has to look in his hand just to really believe that he didn't pick her up. Okay, we got hit by that. What do you mean we got hit by that? There wasn't even an attack! This guy's an asshole, honestly. He's such an asshole. Okay, good. We jumped that. He's aggroed onto us, which is even more frustrating. I will do just that, don't worry. Okay, Gemma is landing a couple of really good hits. Good. Scarby is doing absolutely nothing. Never mind. She's about to do an attack. Whoa, that was so close, actually. Okay, we still get hit anyway. All right, he's going to use a big attack, and we're going to have to go into our inventory here and use something that heals our health. What have we got? We have a Celebrus Brew that does nothing, I don't think. Oh, actually, it increases our health to max. Good. Probably not going to get another option to use that, so we'll just use that immediately. Okay, I'll do a bit of magic damage. We want to wait until he's, like, down on the ground. Jim is actually really carrying this time. That's completely new. Let's try for a Maelstrom. Because I don't really want to be hit by anything, and we need our damage potential up if we're just going to be doing these crappy little one-hits. Boom! Please don't attack me! Please, please don't hit me! Damn it! Okay, that's all of our damage potential just gone because of that uh, one attack. Oh, we got it back though. We got all of that damage potential gone. Perfect. Okay, he's after us now for some reason. What an ass hat. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god, we actually did a lot of damage to him. I didn't notice. That's probably why he's aggroed onto us. Oh, another tail attack. Oh, piss off! Seriously? What do you call that? What is this? Dragon's Dogma Dark Bollocks, maybe? Okay, we're gonna need another, uh, anything that restores our health. What have we got? 
Inventive? Nope, that uh, doesn't really do anything. Harspid Juice? Yeah, it does a bit of health regen. Okay, we'll get up to maximum health. Take the offensive. We'll start using all of these items. Okay, good. I'm firing. I'm firing my blazer. We've got to get out of the spell. No, it literally hits like a truck. A foe. Okay, we lost all of our HP. Gemma's uh, down. Let's go ahead and get her up. Oh is he actually flying around? Oh, yeah, he is. Okay, we'll that. get onto a ballistae. Because we kind of don't really have a choice. Maybe we'll go uh, this way. Yep, he's definitely up on the ridge line there. So we're probably going to have to kind of like duck and dodge around his fireballs. Sits at the very heart Are we tired? Of all creation. Oh, I thought that maybe we'd be able to like move around during that cutscene, but uh, it, it turns out no. The no, the answer, the answer was uh, no all along. Time itself flows with your footsteps. Yes, this is true. Have you come so far to be stricken with cowardice arisen? I don't you know what you're talking about. So here's path. the thing, right? Here's the thing about the dragon. We are literally there the pivot at which the entire world uh, kind of like turns around, which is a really cool concept because as the player, if you're not playing the game, the game world just simply does not exist. Go ahead and just start firing these, I think. Here, here, here. I don't think they're landing somehow. Maybe we just like go a little bit higher. Are they landing? No, they're not, are they? Uh, dragon? Please? Okay, this one is not good enough. And he's about to fire a ball at us, I think, because he does one for everyone, it seems. Just wait, wait for that to pass, and then we'll just continue along. Because I think that there's another few just off to the side this away. Probably shouldn't be running, but you know, such is life, again. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of like do a levitate there to bleed off some of that fall damage. Good. And there should be a couple of ballistae just over here. Alright, he's fired one at us. Never mind, that one's made for us. No, it's not. Is that one made for us? I think that was for Scarby. That one's for us, that final one, I think. Okay, now we can go ahead and actually start attacking, right? Yes? Are they landing? Hello? Dragon? No, none of them are landing. Okay, we can't use that one either. But let's keep on going around in a gigantic circle, wasting our time. Guys, don't even bother. It, the, the shots don't even land. This is a troubling foe. Yeah, you don't say. I'm trying to take care of it. Okay, that next one is probably for us. Let's conserve our stamina a little Show bit. That now we run. Possess power Good. Fit to best me. Or your world is forfeit unto Okay, he's decided to actually start flying around now, which is uh, not what, what we wanted whatsoever. More. It is all by your own choosing. Okay, let's get on this one here, and we're gonna start firing shots at him. Yeah, okay, we can't hit him from here. We're gonna have to wait for him to do a turn. And I'm just gonna fire a bunch of these shots at him. Probably too far away now. But as soon as he starts running at us, I'm gonna fire an explosive shot right at him. Are you taking the piss, Val? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Wow. I think Val is having a conniption. She's dumb as a brick. How do we fight such a thing? Val, shut up! Boom. Boop. Okay, can't use that one. We the means to shoot it down. Oh yeah, we can actually. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that right now. Uh, we'll use regular bolts, I think. Good. Ah, uh, damn it! That was an explosive shot. We didn't want to use that. All right, let's start firing at his heart. Boom, boom, into your heart. Boom, boom, it's gonna start. Whoa, that was a lot of hits right there. Go, guys. Go, go, catch it, Ports. Press your advantage. I don't even know if we're doing like lots of lots of damage or anything like that. Probably, we're probably doing lots and lots of damage. Okay, uh, this is actually a pretty good strategy as long as he doesn't ever fire fire at us. Oh, piss off. No. We're going to have to use something to get all of our health back up again. And I think we're also stuck in the spell, uh, so it might be a doom loop. The heart alone is vulnerable. All right. No, it does not look... Yes, it was, actually. It was a doom loop. Uh, we didn't have a choice in that instance. We, we literally just had to eat dirt and um, deal with it. Bit of a shame, but such is life.
The hour for turning All right, once more, all the way from back at the start. The world will have its answer. I wonder if he flies away, if we can save. I don't think so, because we're still technically in the fight. But it, it could be the case. All right, let's not run around. Let's actually just kind of like immediately gap it to one of the Bella stages over here. Go! He's not even attacking. Never mind. Doom loop immediately. There we go. Okay, I did try and get away from that as fast as was uh, possible in the game, and Doom Loop. Strange, huh? Strange how, how you get caught in a Doom Loop. Okay. The hour for turning back is past. Good. The world if there were, like, multiple hits of damage, we'd probably be able to time items so that we could kind of, like, heal in between all the ticks. But uh, that's just not the case most of the time. What's up? Hey there, Tyler Runke. Uh, not a lot. We are uh, just kind of... Trying to fight this dragon over and over and over again. Unfortunately, we don't have any armor and we don't really have any decent weapons, so we are getting one hit about as soon as possible. All right, another sideways sweep of fire, so let's go over to his flank so he doesn't hit us. And now I'm going to jump up here and hope for a ballista of some sort. All right, what's he firing? Fire! Ah, who would have thought? Someone just picked up Green Warish. There wonder where they found that. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get here and we'll start firing at his heart. Good. One hit, two hits, three hits. Go, go! Go, everyone! The hell are you doing? Okay, as soon as he casts that, we're going to get off this machine right here. Perfect. And now we're going to try not to be hit by that. Whoa. Oh my god, he was attacking us. I knew it! I knew it! Okay, we don't take chances anymore. We, we stay on the ballistate. And we just keep on shooting. Piss off! Seriously? Doom loop! We're in a doom loop again. Check this out. So it's not. there's no point in even trying to leave that spell. Because it, it casts way too fast for us to be able to get out of it. Okay. We'll try again. We'll just try again. Play Undertale Yellow? Uh, I will eventually. I will eventually play Undertale Yellow. I want to beat Sans first and also get the Undertale game theory out. Uh, before I kind of have anything that like taints my my uh, my original thoughts for the game, I'm not even halfway through scripting it either. I've like fully fleshed out the kind of psychological breakdown of about five different characters, and that's about as far as I've gone. It's very very hard. Oh my god, seriously! You didn't even have time to react to that one. <laughs> oh my god. We've had a couple of uh, instances where we've gotten pretty close to like halfway mark, but uh, ultimately it's not easy. Alright, I got a new strat. Me, we'll again keep on using the uh, big old Bell Estate to our advantage, and we're just going to immediately sprint this way and hope he doesn't one hit us with some kind of bollocks fire attack. Alright, bye guys! You, why are you guys following me? Go and attack him. Yeah, he's doing one of the bollocks fire moves. He's probably going to start using spells once we get up here. I'm going to take this green warish because we need it. Also, Isometrine. Uh, Gemma, what the hell are you doing up here? You have chosen your path. What do you mean, str stricken with cowardice? There is no I'm getting to the only advantage we have. For those who will not give themselves right, good. to their cause. Uh, he's doing a spell. Let's get off of the machine really quickly. Oh, Gemma, seriously? Are you sure? Oh! Ah! I don't want to be hit by that. Okay, Gemma is actually doing some some good here with this Bella State. Maybe we want to go somewhere with two Bella State. Oh, no way! No shot! I'm not even in it! Why am I taking damage? Okay, we lost all of our damage potential. That's cool. Uh, let's try for the Bella State again so we can maybe knock him down. I don't fancy our odds. No, he's definitely destroyed the us. He's definitely destroyed us. Yeah, he took out that ballista, so uh, actually going up there to check whether or not it was destroyed was the thing that killed us in the end. I think we just, like, assume that they're always broken and we just, like, bite the bullet and run to another series of ballista. Because it doesn't really seem like we have any other option, does it? Okay, I think we run right behind us this time. Right behind us. Immediately run away and go up this hill because I seem to remember that there's maybe two ballista up here. There's also a lot of things to hide behind. Although, that is not actually the issue. He's not doing any direct attacks. Direct attacks are really easy to dodge. It's the kind of, like, area of effect nukes that he's I using to just kind so of, like, one-hit us. There is no cowardice, my dude. Okay, good. He's probably 
not gonna be kind. Okay, a couple of good attacks on his heart right here. A few good attacks on the heart, actually. We've maximized our damage potential. Probably gonna cast a spell. Here we go. It's casting Geisel. Go ahead and just leave. We'll attack in between. Good, is he doing another... Okay, I think our pawns are attacking him. I hope he's not about to do... Oh, he's actually doing the gigantic nuke. Why are we stuck in this? Why are we actually stuck in this? I'm not in it. Are you taking the piss? Seriously? Damn, I'm the only one here in the stream. Literally no one cares. Uh, the, the reason that I am here is to stream. I'm just having fun. Um, I've had an absolute revolting year and YouTube has now become my solace, my kind of like breakaway from all of the depressing things. I don't actually care how many people are here watching the stream with me. It's the people that turn up that I care about. Back is past. The world all right, will have its we'll come all the way to the right because we seem to have really, really good luck to the right. It's when we go to the left that he starts using, uh, just, he opens the fight with a nuke that we can't escape. But if we go all the way around here and then just kind of go underneath him, he always tends to fire in a straight line of effect. So maybe we just like keep on moving to the left and try and exploit that. Try and get under him every time he uses a tail attack. Okay, good. And we just attack every chance we get. Okay, that knocked us off guard. Not amazing. Uh, that's probably going to be a... Nope, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just keep on coming around here. Excellent. And someone's got the claw. Nice. Good. We'll start firing. Also, this is, this is not a game that people really are uh, playing popular. Okay, we've already got one of the... One of the bars of his health down. Probably gonna have to rely on pawns really quickly. No. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, let's go for a single maelstrom. Go! Try and knock a Gemma out of his hand if you guys can. Or you could not, Scarby, or you could just like go under his heart and then hope for the best. So we're gonna maximize damage potential with this, but Gemma may be uh, working against us. She most certainly is, but she just got sucked up into the maelstrom, which is really funny. Okay. We, were, we got really, really lucky because we didn't take uh, any damage. Alright, good. Gemma is going down. Perfect. And she's gone. Awesome. Love that. Go ahead and get Gemma up and he's casting magic. I think it's Bolite. It's not going to be good for us. But it should be absolutely fine. So we just got to kind of like... Alright. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> that was so close. We almost just got uh, bitten by that one. Let's go ahead and start firing with our maximized damage potential. Jesus, look at that damage. That is insane. Hopefully that bolide light is not going to hit us. All right, though, all of our pawns are probably going to die in that gigantic spell right there. Where is he? I don't see where he is, so there's no way we can kind of, like, dodge him. All right, I think he's going to go and... I'm gonna, like perch up on his perch, right? So we want to go. Okay, he's landing. Yep. We want to go kind of like to the right a little bit, this and that should be absolutely fine. Sits at the very heart of all creation. Yeah, I'll say. Okay, we got maximized damage potential as well we are the with the cage of fury. Which the world turns so we've got two health bars down, which is actually pretty good. With your footsteps. Let's go ahead and stop running because he's just going to do a bunch, of, so a bunch of fireballs. With yep, that's one. That's not for us. That one's not for us either. Path. That one is not for us. And this one is for us. This moment, for those who will Good. Not give Excellent. Themselves now let's throw. get up on the balista here and we'll try and hit him from the side flanks. Good. 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 I wonder why he's cocking his head sideways like that. Maybe there's someone beneath him. Maybe, maybe we've got a pawn under him. Okay, good. We've done enough damage to him. Perfect. Now, when he gets up and he actually starts, like, flying around, we kind of want to wait until he comes after us, right? All right, that was actually real close to hitting his wing. Very close indeed. I'm going to start, like, firing off some Hail Marys. So I don't think we'll hit him, but there's always the option, right? There's always the chance. This thing reloads just so fast. Okay, it's coming at us now, which is great. Good, good, good. Nice. Everyone go. Everyone go. Go and attack him. Do your worst. Like a German sausage. Do your worst. 
Okay, we're not really doing a hell of a lot of damage with the Ballista here. Let's go ahead and just equip the explosive shot and fire one off. Oh, what a hit too. Great hit. Okay, I'm gonna fire one more of those off before I kind of like run away because nuke, of course. Or maybe actually we could just die right here. We could just eat some dirt and we could just die. Okay, we're gonna have to out DPS the spell because it's annoying as hell. It does attack you while you're out of it, which is frustrating. Okay, he's using magic against us. Me, specifically. I couldn't see that because it was down off the edge of a cliff. Okay, uh, this next one probably going to be the giant nuke again. That's really uh, upsetting, actually. I don't know why he's able to cast that like two times in a row. Okay, let's go ahead and get almost full health. We'll save one of those husbands in case we get uh, real low on stamina. We lost all of our damage potential. We cannot reach it from the ground. Wait, are you taking the piss? If he doesn't land, we're gonna have to get back on a ballistae. Which he didn't exactly destroy. But still, still annoying anyway. All right, go, everyone. Maybe we should try for a Maelstrom right here. Leave it to me. Or maybe even a high Maelstrom while he's kind of like aggroed on the enemies. Hopefully he's not casting a nuke on us again. <laughs> Okay, no, he's not, and he's actually about to get and seasoned, maelstromed. Please don't be a tail attack coming. Good, boom! All right, Take maximum damage it. potential. The we are massively doing damage now. All right, you ran through us. that. Now we want to not be hit by that. Oh my god, that was so close as well. All right, that was close too. Uh, we're going to get under him now. Excellent. We are pretty tired. Let's go ahead and use a Harspid Juice. That's why we saved it. Of course. Probably going to be another tail attack. Very close, actually. Very close indeed. I'm going to fire a few into his heart. How the hell did that hit us? What? The hitboxes in this game are all messed up. Oh, this was so much easier back when I had, like, levels. Like, because that's what you encounter when you fight the dragon for the first time. You have levels. You have levels, you have equipment. Answer. You or me. Unfortunately, we're just getting one hit by literally everything that comes our way. Okay, good. We'll keep on going anyway. All right, Captain Dragonhead. We didn't want to go this way, actually. This is uh, where we die. Oh, my God, because there's no way of getting away from that attack. <laughs> Unless you're already sprinting, because uh, you would have to anticipate that attack is coming in the first place, which he doesn't telegraph until it's literally too late. So going left is always a uh, death sentence. We want to go right. We want to go to the right and we want to kind of like slip all of his attacks. Now he does actually have an attack that does like fires straight off to the right as well. So this is going to be kind of like a 50-50 I would say. On whether or not he actually does the attack or not. Okay, no he's actually done the big straight attack this time. Awesome. Let's go ahead and fire into his neck, not his chest. Okay, we're targeting his chest. All right, good. He's firing uh, all of his attacks voice. off into the uh, opposite direction to where we are. Uh, that's a tail attack. I'm not getting hit by that. No way in hell I'm not getting hit by that. Okay, I'm firing at the chest now. What hit me? I think I touched his foot, and that's what hit me. All right, let's go ahead and run forward. Good. That was, uh, it was awesome that he wasn't actually attacking uh, with his hand in that one, because that would have fully killed us. I'm running to the right. I got hit anyway by that foot right there. Let's go ahead and use a Celebrus Brew, because we don't have a choice. Oh, we're also uh, pretty encumbered, actually, five things. Well, uh, it's on the ground. Just attack. <laughs> Just do an attack. Okay, Scarby is literally useless here. I think it is... No, it doesn't count around magic. Our, our magic is very potent. Who said that? Val? She's not even silenced. Okay, that's a Volite. Good. And I think that's Volite over. Almost. Volite's still actually going and we're about to be hit by one. That was close. Alright, don't want to be hit by that whatsoever. We're doing a lot of dodging. We haven't even got uh, one of his health bars down to kind of like more than a health bar's worth of damage. Is a little bit frustrating, but we can attack. Oh no, he's covered it up. We must and he also attacked. He, he did that school. spell really, really fast too. Is that going after us, or is it going after exclusively Val? I think it's going exclusively after Val. Go ahead and just start firing away at his chest. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Good. 
And he's probably going to do a big jump now. Uh, there he is. Okay, which means he's probably either going to fire the... Oh, he's doing the straight beam. Good. The other thing he does is he, like, kills all pawns on the field. Which probably is not amazing to have to deal with. Good, we got a little bit of damage off from Veer. Uh, don't want to attack there whatsoever. Don't want to attack there whatsoever. Why are we attacking those places? Good. And... Okay, let's attack his head. Sure. Why not? Then at least we won't be able to uh, hear him spout exposition. Okay, good. All right, we got attacked by that tail, and uh, because of that rock right there, we didn't have a choice but to take the um, the tail. I think we hit the rock, and and that's what caused us to take that tail damage right there. Okay. The hour for turning back is past. Yes, I know. Good God, I wish I could have at least leveled up a little bit further. Death or life beyond. We probably uh, should be playing as warrior for a little bit. No, don't want to go that way because that's dead. Let's actually go this way instead. If we play as warrior for a little bit, uh, I know it's like, it's not actually fun to play. It's it's a pretty um, crap class and it doesn't really do a hell of a lot unless somebody, unless the enemy is just flat out not moving, which doesn't happen in this game. All of the enemies are quite mobile. Except for like a Cyclops. It's good. For, okay, again, didn't get hit by anything and the tail was on the other side of the dragon. <laughs> Oh my god. How far are you in the game? This is the end of it. Well, uh, this is the end of the story. Right here. Uh, I'm trying to kind of like take him out. We've got literally no utility. We're over encumbered. Uh, even if we like get all of the heavy stuff off of our inventory, someone else has to hold it. And then we'll have to do that every single time we fight anyway. And the amount of speed we get is negligible because we're so short. So there's, there's not really anything that we can do to kind of like give ourselves a bit of an advantage. Okay, let's start attacking around the chest right here. Your blood red voice. Don't want to be hit by that whatsoever. Good. Excellent. I did uh, one single attack right there. Okay, he's grabbed us. And if he slams us into the ground instead of turning us... Okay, we're dead. What do you do? What do you do? We also can't leave this mission. Uh, we can't go back. We can't go level up. We can't go get more equipment. Um, we're, we're stuck here. The hour for turning back is past. The world will have its answer. We literally just have to keep on fighting this guy until we get really lucky and don't get hit for the entire fight. Because his nukes are just annoyingly potent. If you would gain aught, give your all right, good. All here and I'm going to run all the way to the side the here. Because that seems to trip him up initially. It's a little... I don't really like meta gaming. But it seems like we don't really have an option when we are so weak and underleveled. Alright, let's go ahead and try for a Maelstrom so we can maximize our damage potential with Caged Fury. And should be... Oh, never mind, he's actually just decided to interrupt us. Okay, there's nothing we can do until he stops this attack. Done. Let's go ahead and try for another Maelstrom. He's gonna probably grab Gemma. Yep, there he goes. Which is actually pretty good. So if we can cast a Maelstrom here while he's uh, kind of like dealing with her, we get maximum damage potential and... Mm, one more, I think. One more damage potential. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's max. Now we just need to avoid him for a bit while we get our stamina back. So we don't want to be hit by that tail. Good. And we also don't want to be anywhere near these rocks because if we get stuck on rocks, we die. Uh... Good, he's actually broken a couple of the rocks. That's pretty awesome. Uh, he's going to do either kill all of our pawns or he's going to do a big straight beam of fire. I think he's gone for the beam of fire, which gives us a pretty good opportunity to actually attack his heart. But the auto lock is failing us. We don't actually have a choice. Okay, I think he's doing a huge uh, damage dealing attack. Uh, he's dropping his nuke. Yep, there we go. And we had to take the brunt of that nuke, which means we lost all of our damage potential. We lost all of our stamina, and we also lost half of our HP. Awesome. So we'll cry a fear beyond next week's request list. I have honestly no idea, my dude. I have so many stresses going on in my private life now. It's really, really difficult to kind of, like, manage my YouTube at the same time. I'm just kind of, like, at this point, for the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to have to just enjoy streaming without adding anything new or anything fancy to it. Uh, like, it's, it's been going real hard recently. We've had a death in the family. I've got a real sickly grandma. Probably going to be attacked by that. Uh, I, I won't be able to buy anything for like two weeks because it's just going to really make it difficult to get groceries and pay bills and such because my uh, card's just been... Um, uh, just expired earlier than it should have been. And all of my friends kind of like aren't able to be there for me anymore. 
Because they've got their own stresses going on. Okay, let's uh, run away from this gigantic nuke. Okay, all of our bonds are dead, which means we are now the ones who have to take the aggro by definition. It's going to do a wee bit of a grab. Don't know why he even bothered. Let's go ahead and just run to Gemma. And then we'll go to Scarby. Excellent. And hopefully he won't do the tail attack. Oh, we got lucky there. We actually just got lucky. Maybe we hide behind this... Oh, no, he can break it anyway. There's no point in hiding behind it. Have you come so far to be stricken with cowardice or is it? All right. I, obviously, none of us saw that coming, but um, it is what it is. Okay, we are literally min-maxing the experience, by the way. We are maximizing damage potential as early as we can. We're getting pawns to go and fight them, and we are dealing every piece of damage to his chest every single time we actually get the opportunity. And yet still, we can't do it. So it's, it's just literally a casino at this point. We, we just have to get really lucky. All right, straight beam, excellent. We can kind of, like, get as far into the meta as we possibly can, just by not being hit. Okay, now we can uh, get away from there. Excellent, he got to Val instead of anything else. Let's go ahead and fire a Maelstrom on his head, actually, this time. Because if he runs forward, which he usually does through the Maelstrom, hopefully we won't be able to... Oh, that's not good. Okay, we are getting damage potential anyway. Hopefully he's going to jump through it, but he probably won't. Oh, perfect. Gemma has been caught this time, which immediately interrupted him because of the Maelstrom. Excellent. All right, what is he doing? What is up with his hand? I don't understand. Okay, we shouldn't have been hit by that because we're... How the hell did we make it up here? We shouldn't have been hit by that because we were running over it, but... You know, again, like, it's, it's a casino at this point. Okay, let's get down here. For turning back is past. The world will have its answer. And we will continue on the roulette. Or, life or Blackjack. I'm probably more like Jack Blackjack. Blackjack is if probably the game where you have the most influence over the charts. Because it's, it's mainly just statistics. When you get like poker, you're probably a little bit too bogged down by statistical anomalies to uh, be consistently winning. So it's not really, it's always a game of chance. I don't know why poker championships are even a thing. It's, it's a stupid thing. <laughs> I find it stupid. Blackjack, on the other hand, it's literally kind of like, you just have to beat one person, not everyone else at the table, which is how you beat poker. Okay, we'll fire away at his head. We'll try and free Gemma. Highly doubt we're actually going to be able to. Okay, let's just go straight for his hand, or we could auto lock onto his arm. Yep, sure, done. And we lost Gemma. Nice. Awesome. Uh, and she's going to aggro onto us permanently. Uh, thankfully, she's really, really slow. Now we've got two enemies to be worrying about. Uh, let's try and, like, fire away from over here. Okay, good. And we'll bait her into an attack. And now we'll just attack again, I suppose. Nice. That'll take her out. It didn't damage her. What? He should still be damaging her. Okay, Gemma is now back on our side. We've only done a quarter of the HP bar and damage. Uh, let's attack him in his taint. That, that, that is why they call it the Tainted Mountain, I suppose. All right, we'll go after the heart. Still doing very, very negligible amounts of damage. Gemma is doing nothing for us. Honestly, she may as well just not be here, to be quite honest. Uh, Val is not doing damage. Scarby is not doing damage because I think we just changed her vocation to Archer and she's rubbish at it. What the hell is the dragon doing? Okay. I think back here is probably actually the best place to be. Like, in between his back legs there. Whoa, okay. Let's not be hit by that. In fact, let's not be hit by this either because that's just going to be a big straight beam of fire. Excellent. I'm going to run for his back legs again. See if we can't kind of... Well, good work, Gemma. Oaf. How oafish. Good. I would have been hit by that if I didn't jump. No, don't aim at that, you idiots. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, not be hit by that gout of fire. I don't know why I, I tried to dodge that. Probably an unnecessary waste of stamina. Okay, good. Uh, again, he's got Gemma. So, uh, like, again, Gemma just may as well not be here. Let's go ahead and just fire a, a maelstrom. Okay, we may have just lost the chance to fire a Maelstrom, because he may do something. No, he's not doing anything too potent. Awesome. Uh, never mind, he one-hit us with his tail. Okay, 
We'll try again, obviously. Because we don't really have a choice. And we'll continue onwards. Onwards and upwards, I think. I think this will be the one. I feel, I feel like this will be the one. This will be the fight. You or me. Death or life beyond. Here's a little bit pretentious. And this intro is completely unnecessary. you would gain aught, give your Okay, good. Such is the contest you have. All right, he's doing the straight fire beam, so going to the right actually is the right answer every single time. He's probably going to go for a hand grab next, because that seems to be what he usually does. We can usually get three in here before he... Oh, he's actually just waiting. Uh, we want to be out of the way of that. That is a bad attack to be hit by. Uh, wrong attack. Okay, didn't want to be hit by that other hand, which is why I moved. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and fire a Maelstrom right at his chest again. Try and maximize our damage potential, and then we'll just carry on to, like, dodge every attack and hit him in the chest every chance we get. Hopefully Maelstrom will get Gem as well, because we did actually just pop it off. Nice. That's fine, Gemma. You do you. Okay, we're still stuck here. Hopefully he doesn't use his tail attack. He didn't. Perfect. Where is Gemma? She's in the sky or something? Ah, oh, she's dead. Good. Go ahead and fix that. Okay, I, why was I hit? Also, why couldn't I get her up? I was literally mashing the button to get her up. Okay, we don't want to be hit by... Okay, we got hit by that foot right there, which is um, apparently a nuke as well. Don't want to really be hit by anything anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and attack him. We lost all of that damage potential. Uh, he's casting his nuke. So we should probably actually just run sideways until we don't want to be caught. Okay, we just got caught with that pants down, unfortunately, and we did. So we actually ran out of stamina right at the end of that run, and that was actually what ended up killing us. We, we ran out of the stamina. Okay, we'll continue on. That wasn't the run. It's, it's always that one nuke, or it's the kind of like big area of effect uh, fire blast that he does that kills us. It's usually never anything else. Like we've only been killed by um, like the hand grab, because that's obviously a one hit. And I don't think we've ever been killed while he is in the sky. So there's probably a point at which we could just do free damage against him. Uh, run away from that giant beam of fire. Let's go ahead and start firing. Excellent. Nice. We have auto attacked into the right place for once. We don't have the damage potential to be doing anything. We can probably get one more attack. No, we can't. All right, dead. <laughs> There's literally nothing we could do about that. We could try for like necromancy, but I'm pretty sure that he's going to like, even if we use necromancy and we just kind of like fire on him from a distance, he's still going to use the nuke attacks on us because we're too far away for him to one hit by his flame burst. And every time the necromancy actually deals damage, it'll probably and very likely just end up pissing him off and he'll aggro on us anyway for a, a big cheeky attack. Uh, we'll try it anyway, actually. Since we have it. Alright, good. Come all the way down here while he's firing his uh, attack. We'll fire off necromancy. Hopefully he won't try and grab us. He's trying to grab us. That was very close. So far to be Let's try necromancy again. You have chosen your path. We don't really have a choice in the matter. We don't want to be hit by his there tail. We're no about to be hit by his tail. Okay, let's cast the spell instead of... Act <laughs> I hit the cancel button. I, I, hit the, I hit space bar to cancel the spell. But apparently it was more important that we just cast the spell instead of getting out of the way of the big one hit attack. The hour for turning back is past. Okay, good. Will have its answer. We, we have literally every single disadvantage in this fight, by the way. Like, every single disadvantage. We are short, so we can't run very far. Um, we're a mage, so we don't have uh, any kind of, like, health. We are also a sorceress, so we don't have the stamina pool or the, or the amount of, uh, kind of, like, running stamina to get around this thing. All right, that's going to be a big sweep. We didn't want to be hit by that whatsoever. Stop attacking the elbow. That's not what I'm targeting. Obviously, I'm not targeting that one either. None of those I'm, I'm looking at. The, the middle of this... Oh, that's death. That's death. Um, I wasn't even hit by that fire, by the way. Um, we just kind of like got too close to the head, and uh, the game decided, you know what? No. You're too close. Too close. You're going to die. One hit. Okay, good. The hour for turning back is past. The world will have its answer. You, you or me, me. Death life or death, or death beyond. beyond. Oh, 
keep. If you would gain aught, give your I'm going sideways. Here and now. Uh, I don't really want to try for Holy, because it seems like a useless skill. We've got Levin, which wouldn't really do anything to him either. That's death right there. Okay. Obvious death as well. Like, even if you can get out of the way of the tail, you can't do it early enough to get out of the damage hitbox. Man, there seems to be like two styles of this fight when you're getting one hit by everything, right? Which is kind of like, you, you get killed by the first attack. Or the second attack, or you get two of his HP bars done, and then you get killed by some kind of area of effect new, which is probably the most frustrating one because it takes ages to recover from. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother sprint away from that. All right, he's actually moving around now, which is kind of weird. He usually doesn't do that whatsoever. Why the hell would I want to attack his tank? Show me power. Oh my god. The targeting systems in this game are revolting. I didn't have time either. I didn't see, Show like, Val get grabbed in time. I didn't have time to, like, cast a Maelstrom or anything like that. Alright, we have to do the damage potential, right, as fast as we can. We don't really have a choice. Uh, we also have to take Val out as fast as possible because she has a uh, ranged attack. Okay, good. And we don't have to get her back up either. I'm actually going to just run away from that to get out of range of it. Alright, Val is uh, still under heavy siege by literally everyone. She's casting a really big attack on us right here. Uh, the dragon is doing something, but it's probably not going to hurt us. Good. Uh, Val's going to get herself back up because of her staff. So let's just go ahead and continue focusing on this wanker right here. I don't want to be hit by this. Who's getting hit by this? Uh, Scarby. Excellent. Okay, maybe we just kind of like stay at range. Maybe that is actually the strat. Maybe we take advantage when he is about to get hit and down. Oh, that was close. And then kind of like, yeah, we only dodged that by the way, because I jumped way in advance. Okay, is that a tail attack? What's he facing? Ah, he's facing everyone now because he moved. Why? It literally does nothing, Scarby. Why are you so tired? Oh my god. I, I don't know why, but Scarby has just uh, started becoming an absolute piece of garbage at combat. I wonder if the basic attacks increase damage potential. I'm not actually sure it does. Okay, let's try for high necromancy. Or at least a necromancy so we can generate a little bit of damage potential. It's not really for us. Okay, perfect. And now we'll have to kind of like dodge everything. Good. Necromancy's following up into the dragon. It do, it, it's not doing a lot of damage. But we did just increase damage potential. So he's probably going to aggro on us now. Let's try for another high necromancy. And if he attacks us again, we'll just jump it. Uh, we've almost got 2 HP down. That's not good. Okay, he interrupted our spell. That's awesome. Well, how about you attack it and then kind of like guess? Literally any attack is better than what you were doing, which is nothing. Straight a high necromancy while he's attacking in that gigantic arc of effect. And hope he doesn't use the big uh, hand swing, because he might use the big hand swing next. Let's see what he does before we actually... Okay, we'll cast. Okay, perfect. We're not actually going to get hit by that. That is awesome. Now, we're really, really low on H... No, stamina. Okay, he's off, I think. We cannot reach it from the ground. Yeah, no kidding. All right, let's come up this uh, little hill right here. Maybe necromancy is the way to get him while he's up on this hill. Maybe it's not actually Ballastay whatsoever. Okay, he's actually going on a different here platform. Okay, hopefully we're gonna have max stamina at the end of this little uh, cutscene right here. This battle you have begun. I think this is the one, by the way. I think this is actually gonna be the one. Heart of all creation. Yes, sir. Okay, we've got pretty good damage potential, we've got maximum stamina, we've run out of our necromancy. It's not amazing, but it is not the worst either. Okay, using all of our stamina to get up here. We probably don't actually need to, because he's just going to be firing these fireballs. I think we're on a bit of a limited time to get up here in the first place. We just, like, hide behind this rock right here. Good, we're not going to get hit by that. Excellent. Okay, uh, the wings actually just scared me. I was wondering if there was, like, a new attack or something coming. Oh, piss off. Seriously, man? He took down the only ballista here. 
Never mind. There are actually a couple over here. Maybe. We can make our stand here. Maybe we can get ourselves a necromancy. On ourselves right here. And then we get close enough to him and the necromancy just kind of like attaches to him maybe. Because that attack right there is not going to hurt us. We've got a wall in the way. Anytime. Perfect. Okay, necromancy is actually pretty good. Okay, he destroyed all of the ballastate. What an asshole. How do we fight such a thing? Well, how about this? How about this right here? This ballastate. Show that you possess power fit to best me. Not good enough. Almost good enough. I'm just going to start attacking him, hope for the best. Attacking roughly his uh, cone of light. The one you Let's wait until he gets a little bit closer, so we can kind of like not waste all of our damage. Okay. <laughs> He's such a wanker. He is literally such a wanker. His name's Gregory, by the way. Gregory is such a wanker. Not Gregory. Gregory. With an I. Okay, good. And now we attack. We attack in mass so that we don't get hit ourselves. Let's, hit a, let's try and hit his wings. Because we need to, like, take him out. Alright. I'm going after this wing now. Hopefully, we will be able to take it out. Excellent. Let's get... Oh, what? Seriously? Why is he not going down? He did the animation. Okay, fine. There we go. All right, everybody. Go, go, Gadget Horns. Okay, he didn't get stunned, which is a little bit of a damp fart. Are we going to take damage? Yes, we are. Fortunately, we didn't lose all of our damage potential. Yep, I can see that. He's probably going to use spells now, because he tends to. I'm expecting spells. Well, maybe he's actually... Oh, yep, there's the spell right there. All right, there's the spells. Go, everyone. Scarby actually land a hit. I swear to God, if you miss again... Okay, Val is literally just, like, wasting her time. I think this one's for me, so I'm actually going to run in a circle right here to try and get away from the nuke he's about to cast. Nope, it was for Val. There's some uh, husband juice right here. Perfect. Val is dead. Uh, that is actually her superpower, so I don't really care too much. How do we fight such a thing? Just attack it! Just actually attack the beast! Okay, that is doing nothing. Probably want to get out a spell, don't we? Maybe necromancy? Yeah, let's try for necromancy. I, unless he targets us, we'll just uh, go for necromancy and just try and dodge all of his attacks. I think that's actually the way, because it's working for us now. One, two, three, and we still have a little bit of stamina. Perfect. All right. Go, go, Gadget. Necromancy. Why are you not attach attacking him? He's right there. Okay, there we go. Good. I don't think it's... Oh, that actually did quite a bit of damage. Let's keep doing that. Excellent. We've knocked him out of the sky somehow with necromancy. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but... Hell, I'm not going to... I'm not going to look at gift horse in the mouth. Okay, necromancy is actually the strat. Excellent. I'm attacking his heart. We've already got him down to half health. Perfect. Okay, that's not good. We probably want to start dodging him now, right? Yep. Okay, apparently that was damage. Apparently we actually just took damage from that big wing attack that he did. I am so, so glad he did not just use a big tail, tail sweep, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it. All right, good. And now let's kind of like conserve our stamina a little bit. Uh, he's doing a big nuke attack. We'll wait until he lifts his head before he kind of like run sideways. Like now. No, it wasn't for us. Good. So he's not aggroed on us. He's aggroed on all of the other pawns. If Val can die, that's absolutely uh, fine and dandy. Don't really care about that too much. Uh, he's about to kill a bunch of them too. I think he's about to kill Gemma. Val, again, doesn't matter. Good shot, Gemma, I think. What kind of weapons does she have? I think she might actually be a bit of a crap pawn. Stop spamming jump. You're not gonna you're not gonna survive that. <laughs> no, they hold the advantage. <laughs> right, I think Gemma might burn to death, which is pretty funny actually. The heart are risen. Attack the heart. Right, I, I attacked his head, probably don't want to be doing that. Good. Okay, Jim's dead. Nice. Move. Are you taking the actual piss? <laughs> okay! Okay, so. Being that close to the dragon is actually lethal. Good to know. Good to know. Maybe we wait until, like, the pawn is just 
and death. death. Or life beyond. And then we start running in and start if risking ourselves. Because it is a massive risk. Okay, we're going to uh, tell everybody to attack. I, I'm actually going to go and take a look at the equipment of Gemma. I think she's worthless. I think she's actually might be a, a worthless pickup. What is this? Lance's sword? That is crap. I mean, her strength is high, obviously, but she's just a crap pawn. <laughs> Wowie! Not built well. Okay, that's uh, death. Let's get away from that death right there. Your teeth of steel. Let's your continue running to the voice. right, because it seems to actually do us a lot of good. I'm going to go here in case he does a big fire attack at us, which we could get hit by. Oh, perfect. If he's going to do a drop slam. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and fire out some necromancy. Well, it looks like a hiding behind cover doesn't actually do anything for the tail. So the strategy we used on the Gore Chimera, worthless. Doesn't do anything. Okie dokie. Oh, we've only been fighting him for about an hour and a half though. The world will have its answer. You I think the first time I was fighting this guy without knowing anything about the game, it took me about three hours to actually get him for the first go. If you would that was way back in the past though. Back when the PlayStation 3 now, was uh, the best thing in the world. You, you know, 30 frames per second. Kind of yucky, actually. Uh, let's use Higher Necromancy right here. He's probably not going to do a hand sweep, and if he does... Alright, he's decided to actually just interrupt everybody's attacks, which is just flat out annoying. Alright, now he's doing a bit of hand grab. What an ass! What an actual asshole! Alright, go guys! Go, go get your pawns! Jim can't reach the heart, which is a little bit of a damn fart. And we did! Okay! That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll go again. Well, are you still fighting the damn dragon? Yeah, we get one hit every single time. And so far, we've died to nothing except um, incorrect hitboxes and uh, area of effect nukes that we're too short to outrun. So we're basically rolling the casino over and over and over again until we actually get him. Wait, how long did it take you to beat him um, with, a, with a glass cannon build? Okay, I'll, I'll give my all here and now, sure. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna do a necromancy. He's probably gonna do a big tail sweep. Okay, he's doing a drop slam, which is awesome. That's not gonna affect us whatsoever, and as long as he doesn't swing his goddamn wings again. Oh, that was really lucky, actually. We didn't get hit by that. Okay, this is gonna be a hand sweep. We're gonna wanna jump. Oh, perfect. Gemma is getting hit this time. Okay, let's go ahead and start attacking the chest. Because it is probably going to be the highest source of damage that we can do. Excellent. Necromancy got him as well. We probably could have actually used Necromancy just to get him uh, with all of that. Whoa, that was so close. Let's go between his legs. What an asshole. I'm going to fire. No, I'm not actually going to do anything like that. Okay, I tried to jump all of that, but we got hit by his uh, foot for some reason. Do about 10 minutes. With a glass cannon bill, piss off, you dead. There's no shot you beat him in 10 minutes. It takes me 10 minutes with a bit of Black Isle build. Okay, we'll come through. Oh, hey, look, treasure. I'm going to take it. What is it? A Celebrus Brew? That's free HP. What's this? Hasper juice, very nice. We're a little bit heavy now, but that's absolutely fine because it makes a negligible difference on our speed. Okay, good. And we'll come on all the way through here. Oh, good. It's a good thing we actually looked at him too because he's about to plant a nuke on us. Oh, actually, even better, it's not on us. It's on Gemma, who he's literally rinsing right now. Is that going to be a tail sweep? Oh, almost. That was close. Okay, let's go ahead and try for a necromancy while they've stunned him. Perfect. Good work, everybody. Hopefully he's not going to do a big tail sweep. No, he's doing a foot slam, so we've probably got time to cast this before he does a tail sweep. Oh, he's not doing a tail sweep. Excellent. Okay, so Necromancy is going to increase our damage potential a lot. Nice. And Jim is almost dead as well. Let's go ahead for a Maelstrom. Let's try for a Maelstrom. This should do a heap of damage, by the way. If, if he is stuck there, this is going to do uh, probably like a bar of HP. If he doesn't move he moved okay that's annoying and there we go he's taking the sky he's probably gonna do a drop slam or he's going backwards which means big uh, thing of fire's coming up oh this is new i'm gonna go kick ass in minecraft pvp okay you have a great time uh this is probably gonna be bowl right 
Yes, we gotta be weary of falling meteors now, and we did just attack him. We also lost all of our damage potential, so it was a bit of a waste of time to attack him. We're gonna have to be wary of all these comments. Now, where is he gonna plant? Probably up there, right? Probably up there? Realistically, probably gonna be up there. Yeah, he's already going there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start trying to get him with the gigantic damage that necromancy does because we can kind of hide behind God things and then use the necromancy the very heart of all creation good all right let's come up we here we'll go up the cliff side which the world turns arisen time itself flows or not. with your footsteps <laughs> okay he hasn't even started attacking with his fireballs yet okay fourth one's for us one two okay uh three and we want to bait him pretty far away from this here little object because one of our pawns might be able to get up from there okay good and we'll come all the way up here let's cast necromancy on ourselves and these should go since we got here really really fast we should realistically be able to deal a significant portion of damage to him all right i think he's firing his first fireball now bang bang i don't hear them okay here's one and there's two. Good. I think Necromancy's about to go and... Or not. Necromancy's not going to aggro on him. Okay, that one was for us. Fine then. I'll use the actual machine. If you insist. Okay. We'll get all of these attacks out. Great. Grand. Excellent. I don't know if that actually did any damage. But I like to think it did. I, I do like to think that it did. Okay, uh... Oh, apparently I landed one of those. That's nice. Okay, we'll keep on attacking. We might get lucky and hit him in the wing or something. But we also don't want the gap to be too closed. We, we kind of want him over here. Okay, let's wait until it gets close enough. And it's going to be uh, kind of ducking a little bit. Excellent. Got him. Okay, we need to now close the gap really fast, Scarby. Get off of the ballastay. We don't want to be hit by any kind of nuke that he's about to pop. Because he does pop nukes. We're about to find out exactly which nuke he's about to pop, though. Okay, he was uh, reeling. I don't know why the spawns don't just, like, stay down here. Okay. So, now we've got two of his HP bars down. He's casting magic. It's probably going to be on us, though, realistically. Is it on us? No, it's on Scarby. Oh my god, that is weird. No, he's doing the nuke! Jimma run! Jimma run! No! Oh, never mind. It's literally everyone else that got caught in the nuke. That's unlucky. Okay, Jimma just got absolutely rinsed. Okay, let's go get Scarby up and hopefully we won't get drop slammed. Good. Okay. Uh, we almost uh, just got one hit again. A little bit of a shame. We must pull it down first. Okay, we need to kind of like lock onto his wing here. Okay, let's do that. Or not. Okay, good. He's down, which is, I suppose, okay. Uh, he's doing a big no. If it's on us, we're screwed. And I'm going to run now. No, it's not on us. Okay, we should just use Necromancy now. I don't think he's going to aggro onto us, and hopefully he's not going to do a big tail sweep while we're over here. Again, it's a roll of the dice. All right, he's uh, casting Geisel. Hopefully not on us. Doesn't really matter if he did cast it on us. Let's go get Jim up. Probably, um... Yep, just lost all of our damage potential because he decided to uh, swing his wings around. And we also lost all of our stamina. Cool. Uh, we'll get Jim up. Excellent. Necromancy is actually uh, increasing our damage potential by a huge amount, though. Go on, one more. Or did it expire? No, we got one more. We got one more. Go, go. Whoa, that should have hurt us. It did actually land. Okay, we need to use one of these Haspard juices. And we'll also use a Haspard source. Just get our HP back up to max as well. We are burning. Absolutely fine. Okay, I don't know how we slipped hey, all of those. Pretty funny. Alright. He's gonna pop a nuke now. That's not good. As soon as he moves, run. Yep, that was for us. Excellent. We only took one piece of two bits of damage for that. Which means we lost all of our damage potential, but at the same time... 
we're alive. Oh, piss off. Val is in his mouth. That's a shame. That's, that actually sucks. Well, let's try for Necromancy, and if we can't get it, then we'll just jump away from whatever's going to happen next. Probably going to be a tail swing. Oh, or not. Tail swing now? I'm going to make sure first. No. Okay. Okay. Interrupt that last kind of like phase of casting. Okay, he literally just jumped away from my necromancy. Bit of a shame. Okay, go. Go, go, gadget skulls. Okay, good. He's casting Geisel. That's absolutely fine. We've almost got maximum damage potential. It's probably going to be for us, realistically, because we're the ones dealing damage to him right now. Excellent. Okay. We took none of that damage. Pretty good. Okay, that looks like a tail attack. Alright, we'll try again. It was a tail attack and we just got boxed into a corner. Again, death loop, not much you can do about it. The hour for turning back is past. The world will Okay, have its we'll fell the dragon by our own hand. Or me. Death or life beyond. Come on, dragon! If you would gain aught, I could do this all day, by the way. This is significantly better than the Sands fight. The Sands fight was just super, super boring. Like, I couldn't believe how bored I was. Fine. We'll strike it its heart. Uh, let's go ahead and cast a Necromancy. Hopefully he's not going to do a Tail Sweep next. Okay, good, he didn't. That was very close, but I'm glad it didn't land. We've got time to cast this. Perfect. And now we jump. What? Seriously? We jumped away from that literally as soon as we could, so probably a doom loop in that instance. We couldn't have gone towards him either because his elbow is also part of that hitbox. Oops. I tried to skip his cutscene again. Are you insane? Hello, Cookie does stuff. Death or life beyond. Okay. We'll try once more. We're going to get some actual good gear, though, after we kill this guy. Because when you defeat him, you get a full set of gear, uh, kind of like, based on the class that you play as you... Alright, can't do anything during that. It's literally a waste of time to even try. Okay, good. I don't think that that does any damage. Oh, his uh, HP's gone down like crazy. Okay, we um, got killed by... Again, the tail on the wrong side of the dragon. I have bad news. Oh no, not another one. <laughs> Every single uh, person I have seen for the last two weeks has had nothing but bad news. I have not heard good news in so long. Like it's it's all been bad news. Deaths in the family. Friends are doing a, having a bad time. Last night, another friend of mine said she's having a dog put down, which is uh, it really sucks. Really sucks ass. Hate that so much. So I hope yours is like not not terribly bad news. Not like uh, bad bad news. Okay, good. Let's start firing at his heart because we don't have a choice in the matter. All right. Um, Maelstrom sees him. No, probably don't want to use those. Probably want to. Probably want to just double down on necromancy, or we want to try for just Levin because it's really fast to cast. Oops. Okay, boom. Oh, it actually does nothing. Levin doesn't do anything. Death itself. What? Stay Are you taking the piss? The game minimized itself. Everything is working against me. I quit my YouTube channel. Oh, that's not necessarily bad news. Like, uh, people, people come and go from YouTube. I'm only doing it full time because I literally have nothing better to do and I like doing it. Like, I choose to spend all... Oh, seriously? We got our mage converted? <sighs> okay. Fine. We gotta take her out. That's unsurprising. We just we just died. Yeah, uh, like, the thing... The, the simple fact of YouTube is that about 99% of channels, they don't go full-time, ever. Like me. Or like other popular YouTubers who aren't me. The only reason I'm not popular is because I haven't been doing this for uh, all that long, realistically. I've only been streaming for like a month. Death or life beyond. So... If you were like, don't feel too bad about it. You can always come back to it. You can always come back to it. I literally do just spend all of my time, to, like 14 hours a day, I'm on YouTube just kind of like making content and kind of managing my channel and all that such. 
so I won't be... Oh, you're, you're deleting it. You've had enough. Oh, no. That is bad news. I'm really sorry to hear that. It's, it really sucks that you had a bad time. I'm really sorry to hear. I don't think I've... I've like, I've had a bad time on Twitch. Twitch has been a, re a revolting experience for a good, like, four flat years. And they never got any better. In fact, they, they just got worse and worse and worse. More creator hostile and stuff like that, but... Uh, YouTube, if you're having a bad time on YouTube, that's uh, terrible to hear. And with me, death itself. Oh well, you will be missed. Fires of okay, Scarby. Come on in. Do some damage. I beg of you. It's it's that easy. You just gotta start firing at it. Also, Scarby gets really, really tired really, really fast as well. Okay, I'll come on through, and... Okay, we're not getting hit by that magic, which is awesome. No, we can probably actually afford to do advantage. a necromancy when he's done interrupting everyone's attacks. Gorgeous. Hopefully he doesn't do a tail sweep, because that'll one-hit us. He's doing a tail sweep. Okay. I wanted to dodge, but uh, unfortunately, Funko did not want to. What the hell is Gemma doing in his mouth? Let go of her feet, as the pawns keep saying. Okay, we'll come on through, and we'll keep on firing away at him. All right, good, and jump at, obviously. Excellent. I'm just gonna have Netflix, Roblox, etc. I'm not having social media anymore because that uses my channel Starry. It's a family member like my cousin. I gave her that account. Oh yes, I've I've heard of the uh, the cousin. They've come on to um to uh, tell everybody in the chat that they are in fact your cousin. It's pretty funny actually. Okay, we'll come on through here so we don't get hit by whatever he's about to do. Which is a tail sweep. We're gonna have to walk sideways so we don't get hit by anything. We also slipped his foot like a pro. Yeah, that's okay. I'm surprised you're keeping Netflix if you don't like YouTube. Uh, that, that is really funny to me. Netflix is terrible. Like, they, they're probably the worst streaming service that I've ever seen. And much like Twitch, they just get worse and worse and worse. Last year here in New Zealand, they increased their prices twice. Which is pretty insane. Have you come so far to be Amazon Prime, that is definitely worth having. Amazon Prime's awesome. Netflix, not so much. I'm, I'm, I think Netflix has kind of like reached the end of its life expectancy and I'm just waiting for it to go bankrupt. My little cousin and other little cousin is Lola Ditz and Silly Dino. I recognize Silly Dino. I definitely recognize them. Yeah, we'll come up here. We're not even going to bother with uh, Necromancy again because that didn't do any good for us last time we came up here. I think we just got lucky when it targeted us last. Is that going to be on us? Nope. Straight down and this one will be for us right here. Yeah, okay. Scarby, you keep telling yourself that. Uh, let's start firing away at him now because we can actually afford to do so while we're up here. But we're going to have to be really fast when it comes to his magic. Okay, and we'll fire here and here and here and here. Hopefully we'll hit him. Okay, I think that, like, the second last one may have actually hit him. He's going to circle the place. This will be my final stream. Oh, that sucks. I'm, I'm sorry I'll never be able to see you again. But that is kind of the consequence of YouTube. From a creator perspective, every it's single viewer on YouTube is temporary. Like, and no, nothing is permanent. All right, let's start firing away at him. So I hope your life improves, uh, but honestly, if your online presence is less, no one notices. It's like that thing. A lot of people get really, really upset when they don't go to a party, simply because they assume that everyone will be all like, oh, you didn't come to the, the party I had. You're, you're a piece of garbage. It's not like that whatsoever. When it comes to parties, people always remember the people who went rather than the people who didn't. So, you came to the party here. That is that is enough. That is enough. If you don't go to another party, no one's going to notice. Okay, let's try not to get hit by that, which is probably going to be for us. Or not for once. He just kind of used it on himself this time. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of that, guys. I'm trying my best. Okay, let's not get hit by that. Good, he got nothing out of that. Awesome. Why are you auto-targeting onto there? Okay, good. That is a lot of damage. Again, why are you auto-targeting there? Alright, let's start running because he's about to drop a nuke. He dropped it on Val. That is actually perfect. Let's go around it. Okay, I thought he was going to do a big tail sweep. I wish I could donate if I could. I would donate $500. That's absolutely fine. As long as I've made you smile at least once, that is enough for me. Piss off, seriously. 
Okay, that's death. No, it's absolutely fine. This account is on hold if I ever want to come back, but probably not. That's that's absolutely fine. Like, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. On the, the internet is basically another capitalist system, but you actually have power over uh, what you do. The hour for turning and don't feel too bad about nice. donating. That's the not why I'm streaming. I'm, I'm just streaming to make people smile, because as I've said, every person that I have come across in the last, like, Probably realistically, the last like four months if has just had bad lost, news. It's just been family deaths, uh, a pets now. dying. Such it's been, uh, oh, my car exploded. Choices. I drove over. Oh my god, seriously? That happened again. My car uh, drove over a puddle I and the uh, engine just completely lost. exploded out of both ends, creating quite literally the voice. largest hole in an engine I've ever seen, personally. And I fix a lot of cars. We could probably try for a. Oh, we can't now. Okay. You know what? Yeah, let's try for a maelstrom. The worst he can do is a tail attack, which he did. It's probably going to turn around and do a big fire attack, right? Yep, there it comes. Oh, I could have fired that off as well. I didn't have to stop it. All right, let's try now. Let's try here in this little corner. I think it'll be good. If I don't ever see you again, enjoy playing FNAF if you do play. Uh, I'll play it eventually. If I don't ever see you again, you have yourself a great life. I, I hope you find joy somewhere. And if that's not on YouTube, I hope it's somewhere else. Okay, we should have been hit by that, to be quite honest. Okay, he's going to go for a grab. He did actually get someone. I'm going to go for a high maelstrom, because it's a little bit dirty. And he's doing a drop slam. What an idiot. Right into maelstrom. Okay, perfect. And we've maximized our damage potential while also doing... Huge amounts of damage. Oh my god, he just walked away that time. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Okay, he's probably gonna do a big old fire attack right on us. It actually landed, which wasted all of the stamina we just regenerated. Because of the the special of the Cajun Fury. Okay, that's death. Alright, nice. Okay. We died again. I'm actually I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna take a biological break and I will uh, return to killing this guy again. Also, I might still be active on Discord, so you'll see me every now and then. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool to catch up with you. I do hope you find joy somewhere in your life. Like, it's it's a human right, I feel, to experience joy, and not enough people kind of trade in on that human right. Anyway, I will be, like, a minute away. I'm just, I'm just going to go do something uh, gross. Back into it. Ah. This isn't goodbye, but I'm going to watch a video real, real quick, then I'll be back. That's absolutely fine. I will still be here, by the way. And, like, again, don't feel too bad about it. It's, it's, it's a consequence of YouTube. Believe it or not, the people who don't necessarily chat on live streams tend to be quite fickle people anyway, and they will subscribe, but they generally won't ever come back to a YouTuber, which is fine. Like... If they, if they want to just have a YouTuber on their uh, subscribe list for the sake of supporting them, that's absolutely fine. But, like, I I never expect to see another person ever again. That's It's just a, a thing of YouTubing that you just get used to. Okay, we'll come around here. 
And I'm gonna do a big willy move and try for a high maelstrom. Right here. Well, just a, a normal maelstrom, I think. Uh, everyone's actually ganging up on us, so it's probably just gonna be better to... Never mind, we probably could have actually got that high maelstrom off. Let's go ahead and get it off anyway. Val will be sucked up into the void and uh, hopefully she will be killed by the maelstrom. Let's go! Yep, she's been converted, that's absolutely fine. And now she gets sucked up into the void. Perfect. Awesome. Hopefully he's not going to do a tail sweep, he's doing a tail sweep. Hiss. I don't think we can get away from this. I think we're in a doom loop right here. Yep, there we go, Doom Loop. Okay, well that was unsurprising, wasn't it? Okay, what about retry? I don't think that there's really anything that we can do, to be honest. Uh, we could probably just like use the pawns as our main damage dealers and then just not get hit and exclusively set ourselves as the healer, which is annoying because the two pawns we have suck. Scarby is not built well. She's, uh, she's just like, how many vocation stars does she even have? Status. We'll see. We'll see how many stars she has. Oh, she's actually almost ranked out. But for some reason, she just sucks. Why? She's got 40,000 discipline points. Why is that? Why does she suck? Uh, advanced trigger. Yeah, that's good. Sharing wind. That's good. Reset. Uh, maybe she can't actually use that. Meteor shot. She's not actually using this whatsoever. We should probably get rid of it. Indicate shot. Uh, that fires 11 arrows along a broad sweep instead of 7. That's pretty much worthless too. Body binder, an advanced form of foot binder that can pin a target to a nearby wall for a long peri period of time. That's not doing anything whatsoever. Shearing wind, an advanced form of cutting wind that increases the attack range, the amount of strikes, and the speed of the dash. Uh, she's also not using that. What about these? Okay, she's got quite a few skills here, but I don't think she can use half of them. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, we'll run sideways. And now I think High Maelstrom. Hopefully he'll do a bit of a grab and hopefully it'll land on literally anybody else. Perfect. Or not. <laughs> Alright, we'll do one damage and then we'll just kind of like set ourselves up as the dedicated healer. And then we will go ahead and make ourselves the necromancy guy that we were kind of like going for initially. Perfect. We've maximized our damage potential. That's going to be a tail sweep. I see him looking behind himself. Excellent. Now let's try no, for necromancy because he's pretty far down. away and he's not to, never mind. He's coming after us. Is that all you have? Two arms. Okay, good. We didn't get hit by that. Let's go ahead and just get away from him. Let's go around this rock, I suppose. Even though his tail goes through here. Oh, piss off. Seriously, my dude. That was effective. Target literally anyone else. I think he's about to pop a nuke on us. Quickly, okay, let's get our stamina back, and as soon as he lifts his head, we run. Offensive. Maybe like now? Yep, let's go. Oh, that wasn't on us. Perfect. Okay, good. Let's go for a high necromancy. Unless he tries for us. No, he's not. Good. Alright, he's doing a big drop slam, which... Are you taking the piss? I'm getting damaged! Why? Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna go now. Goodbye, friends. I'll miss you. It was nice to know you when I knew you. It was nice to know you. I, cannot move. I usually can't say that to a lot of people because it sounds sarcastic and facetious. Or also a little spiteful. Okay, we'll go for high necromancy now because no, it generates the, the it generates the skills we need. <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> this, is, this is actually really frustrating. <laughs> this, is, this is like a stupidly frustrating fight. Regardless what time it is. What time is it? Oh, okay. Yep. So I've got another three the hours to beat him. For turning back is past. The world will have its answer. You or me. Death life or life death beyond. beyond. I've chosen death every time. I, th I think this time we'll try. We'll choose life. I think now, at this point in the fight, the we should probably uh, try our luck with life this time, right? We, we should try not, you know, dying. Let's try for just necromancy. If he grabs anyone, we'll cancel. No, he didn't grab anyone hilariously. Scarby just got knocked off of her ass. Otherwise, we'll just go for necromancy. Okay, that was a pretty damn good attack, honestly. Why am I not attacking? 
Why, why is my why is my necromancy not a not doing anything? Okay, there we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we'll go for a high maelstrom now because Jim has been caught. And I don't think anyone else is really going to do anything else. This should be to do a heap of damage, because we've already maximized our damage potential. We only have time for one maelstrom, not a high maelstrom. So we'll fire that off. Whoa, that is heaps of damage. Look at that. That was a whole bar of health. Okay, uh, we have kind of like lost a lot of HP, though. And we're done. Okay, good. Hilariously, Jimmy just got caught in that as well. Stay the fire. I won't forget you. If you're in the Discord, don't worry about it, Cookie Does stuff. Don't worry about it too much. There's there's always another opportunity to talk. Like, it's it's never. Uh, uh, goodbyes don't ever have to be final. Even with, like, X's and stuff, you can always, like, patch over and then be friends. This battle you have begun sits at the very heart of all creation. I'd say I'm probably friends with half of my exes, even if we don't we talk too much. Because there was a reason we dated in the first place. Arisen, time it's just awkward. It's awkward to find, like, steps. a chance to talk with an ex. Unless he just had common interests in the first place. Okay, so he's probably going to be popping off fireballs now. Good. One, two... We've got time to run up here before he fires one at us. Or not. Was that the final one? Oh, uh, apparently that hit us. That's strange. All right, that's also really annoying because we had full health. So, uh, a little bit of a damp fart, huh? Okay, we'll start firing away. Try and get away from the attacks as well if he uses them. Okay, it seems like crits are the thing that actually the increases the damage of Caged Fury. Okay. Oh, good. Lot. Maximum damage potential. Perfect. Lot. So now the next shot is going to absolutely annihilate his health. We've got two HP bars down. So what I'm usually seeing is we die immediately or we get two HP bars down. So this is kind of like the um, the final round, right? All right, let's just start firing away at him and then hope we close the gap. Good. I had him run the chest as well. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's come down here and we'll try our best for... Closing the gap, because he's about to pop a big spell, I think. What is he going to do, though? That is the next question. He's also probably going to aggro on us, so we probably want to get our pawns to tank for a little bit. Fight me if you dare. and strike from above. Okay, good. Uh, maybe we want to try for holy. Okay, good. He's doing some kind of attack, which is fine. We'll stick with basic attacks. Is that on us? No, it's on someone else. Let's just start attacking with Holy, because it'll home in on him from a distance. It does a bit of damage. Not a huge amount, though. Okay, this is going to be the nuke, I think. Alright, let's get three off, and then we run. Run, run! Okay, that's not us. Perfect. Let's now fire a bunch of these attacks. Because they're actually pretty quick. They're quick enough, right? And we can probably uh, snap onto his wings every time he goes into the sky. Maybe. Potentially. Okay, we've attacked him probably too much now. Oh, perfect. All right, let's go for a Maelstrom right here to take out the pawn and his master. Her master. Good. Maelstrom is completely up. As soon as he drops her, I'm just going to pop it. Good. Oh, I probably didn't have to do it that soon. There we go. We got Vile anyway, who's going to get herself back up. All right, now we've increased damage potential up to max. Let's go ahead and use a Hasper Juice. And we should be... Kind of fine? If we can get out of this annoying attack stance. That was so lucky. He could have attacked us. He's attacking us now. Yeah, that's not good. Scarby is down. It's probably going to do a big tail sweep now. Uh, that's what I would do if I were a dragon. Good. Let's... Wow. My god. He moved Scarby away from us. That's just obnoxious. Whoa, that was close. That was so close. Okay, I'm running. And now I'm going to start firing off Holy. Even though it might stimulate a tail sweep. No, he's doing a nuke. Let's conserve our stamina real quick. And we'll listen. All right, he's done. Let's run. Ah, perfect. He didn't even attack us. It, does Holy just, like, not aggro them? All right, Gemma is down for the count, and Val's also about to die. I think Val is probably actually going to bring Gemma over to us, though. All right, what's he firing? 
Is it a bowl light? Let's just go ahead and get Jim up while he is uh, kind of like getting that magic popped out. And hopefully he won't do a tail sweep while we're over here. Alright, good. He is aggroed on us though. Okay, good. And he grabbed nothing, which means we can't pop a maelstrom, annoyingly. We do have maximum damage. Oh my god, Val just bit the dust with a um, with a gigantic bowl light meteor. I don't want him looking at me. And I'm kind of also conserving my stamina too. I think he just tried to hit himself with a uh, a bowl light. All right, guys, go. Where the hell is Scarby? Oh, there she is. I don't know what she was doing. I think Val just got knocked into her own um, cloud of healing, which is pretty funny. Val's almost dead. All right, what are you gonna do next, Gregory? Up into the sky? Okay, drop slam. That's fine. What are you doing? Stop it! Why are you attacking that way? That's not what I'm there looking at at all. Some way to create an opening. Okay, someone just grabbed something. Uh, I think Scarby just looted the battlefield. The 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 Why the are you attacking there? Okay, run, run, run! Oh, that was so close, actually. Oh. Good. Well, let's spend a little bit of stamina for that. Oh, that was close. Val is dead. That's absolutely fine. Doesn't actually matter how much HP Val has. Okay, let's run away from this. It's probably going to be for us, realistically. Never mind, it's for Scarby. And also, no one. Okay, we lost all of our damage potential. It's not even an attack. Why does that count? That's so annoying. Okay, five HP bars down. Didn't want to get hit by the last of his tail right there, so I jumped. Okay, tail sweep. Good. Wasn't even remotely close, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and try for necromancy while he's this far away. Unless he walks towards us. Come, arisen. Okay, good. All right, he's doing a gigantic void attack. Come, Jimmer. All right, or not. The fires of perdition All right, we're really tired. So no one's me, getting us up. If you would truly be Seriously? The to Where the hell is Scarby? The oh, there she is. Chain. Good. All right, he's probably going to attack Jimmer, which is fine. We'll get all of our damage potential back up. That is a fire beam. Let's not get hit by that. Let's get Gem up right here. It costs all of our stamina, so we're going to have to be real conscientious of what's next. Okay. Well, luckily, it wasn't a gigantic tail sweep. Okay, this is going to be a nuke. Go. Go, everybody. And run. That wasn't for us. Perfect. Oh, awesome. We're actually pretty close now. Okay, good. This battle is mine, just as it is yours. It is one I began long ago. Yep. So that's his whole deal, by the way. His whole deal was kind of like, um, just challenging people. He says, the point of Gregory is to find somebody worthy enough to actually beat the dragon. Okay, we didn't have any damage potential, so luckily that didn't do anything to us. Yes, I'm quite aware. Go, go everybody. I'm only opportunistically looking for places to cast a giant tornado. Strike it okay, good. Jim is doing a bit of damage. Seems the heart alone is okay, I probably didn't even need to jump there, to be quite honest. Good, good, good. Ow. I think I got hit by that tail. What's he doing? Drop slam? No. Big fire beam. That's fine. I think fire beam. Or a spell. Fire beam. Oh, that's a big one. Everyone come over here. Come here! I shall restore your oh my god. Hold on. Anyone caught in that uh, gigantic beam, by the way? They die? It's instant death? No. Okay, go. Now go, everybody. Whoa, that was so close. I almost got wailed on by that. Let's try for another uh, high necromancy and hope he doesn't go after us again. We'll know if he does, because he'll look at us. Okay. If he grabbed Val, that would have been actually perfect. Okay, well, let's cast it. That'll increase our damage potential. Ah, he is casting. No, he's not. I think he's doing the big. Okay, we're not going to get hit by that. That's way too far away. Perfect. Oh, apparently we're doing damage. I just increased my damage potential. Yes, this fire, Ooh. this pain. Nice. Okay, we're very close. Val is down, which is pretty funny. Okay, he's down for the count. Let's go again and start attacking his heart. Whoa, look at the damage. We might get him here. This might be it. Good. Everyone, go. Press your advantage. Good. And now we don't want to get too greedy because he's getting up now. 
Down to his last health bar. Okay. Big wind. Big wind. Big wind. Wing farts. Okay, none of those landed where I wanted it to. Excellent. We got him down. Good work, guys. Whoa, Gemma. Good, a good attack right there. Okay, excellent. Yeah, attack the heart, guys. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, that could have been real bad. I'm going to get way away from him. Hopefully he's not going to target us next. And then we're going to use a necromancy. Oh no, he's attacking us. <laughs> he's actually attacking us. Okay. Let's not get hit by that. Perfect. And now we can probably afford to do a necromancy. Go. Go, everybody. I think this necromancy is probably going to take him out, honestly. Okay, let's see who we cast this on. For. We okay, it's us. We'll cancel that, and we won't get hit by any of those one-hit spells right there. We don't want to be hit by those either, but we can probably also get away with just casting Necromancy while he's, while he's doing that, because we're at some pretty good range from him. All right, he's going to do a nuke real soon. Well, I'm going to cast this, and then I'm going to run. I'm, I'm going to gap it. Hopefully he's not going to do it on us. Okay, this is me. This is my time to shine, guys. They can't kill him. Only I can kill him. Go. Boom. Got him. Gregory is down. All it took was a bunch of casino rolls. Nice. We beat the first half of the game. We did it. And here we go. Uh, stone child. The Silent Hill begins. It makes men deaf to all reason. Heed me well, Arisen. In my death, you've won a future for this world. But what that future spells for you. For all men, there's a truth you'll find staring back from this world's utmost depth. Oh, the world is literally ending. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I don't think the sound here, because uh, I turned the music off on account of all those people doing false copyright strikes on people's YouTube channels to get them uh, not only demonetized, but to get their channel deleted as well for repeated copyright. Um, claims. But essentially what is happening here is we have just killed Grigori. Grigori the dragon turns out was not actually the antagonist that we thought he was right at the start of the game. Like obviously he had a god complex and obviously he challenged a lot of people to things until he challenged the wrong person, us. What Grigori's purpose was, he collected those hearts to hold the world together, essentially. To literally be the physical thing that keeps the peace. Arisen, you have earned back what is yours. And I think he needs to continue on making these Arisen. Your life belongs now to no other. You've won it by rights. It is yours to use or cast away as you see fit. Remember that. Here we go. So the dragon was making these arisen, taking their hearts to sustain the peace and prosperity of the world. Like, obviously, there were monsters in it. But realistically, looking at this, we see that those monsters were probably the lesser evil. Here's the duke falling in his chambers. He was also an arisen. We played as him at the start of the game. That's why he is going uh, all old and decrepit. Very old, very decrepit. Oh, he's reaching for his, for his goblet of wine. That's probably not going to help you, my dude. A drink is not what you need. And here is the dragon Grigori, the peacekeeper of the realm, drawing his final breath. Because we were charged with killing him, and we did so. So the world is literally ending, like Gehenna kind of ending. The rapture, well, maybe not the rapture, but definitely Gehenna. Now, after this, the world has changed. We are now in what I would consider to be the actual game. Oh, this is our beloved, by the way. <laughs> it's, cause we, it's probably because he was the one we talked to the most. Usually it's like the princess. You try and bug out the princess and she becomes your beloved, so... Usually on a first playthrough, people, uh, they really, really want to save the princess, which only hinders your progress. So what we've done now is we've just uh, basically absorbed the soul of the dragon, which has ascended us 
to godliness. Isn't that cool? <coughs> also, we were too short for that cutscene right there. The Dragon Harvard Lodge. Cool. These credits. They're a, they're a, they're a falsehood. Here we go. This is us sitting at a campfire. After barter crags, you'll notice that the wind is picking up. It's because the world is ending. Oh my god, why is he our beloved? <laughs> what the... <laughs> <laughs> sir! <laughs> good, good, sir! I say! <laughs> oh my god! There's Festus, there's the princess that usually becomes the beloved. And there's obviously the duke right there. I wonder what happens if the duke becomes your beloved. Maybe we should try that in the next in the next playthrough. Now, what happens here is your beloved, thankful that you saved their life, not knowing that there was uh, that we actually did, gave him to the dragon, and it just didn't allow us to do so. Um, he comes and moves with us into our house in Cassidus. Okay, there's the dragon forge. There's the dragon forge's pawn, the fool, and that right there is a witch. I think her name is Kina, Queena, something like that. All right, good. We're walking all the way back. It's a hell of a walk. God, I wish we didn't have that oaf with her two-handed sword. What was her name? Gemma? One-star usefulness. Literally worthless. All right, good. There's uh, the worm. What's his name? El... 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 Elysian? Elipian? And there's Mercedes, and there's also Julian. I'm loving all this art. Although it's just screenshots from the game. It's literally screenshots from the game. That's what we're watching right here. Uh, that's not us flying through the sky either, by the way. That's probably a griffin. Or a cockatrice, actually. Probably more likely a cockatrice. The thing that we fought uh, kind of in the field of Grand Sorin. Okay, that lady uh, gets lost in the Witchwood, and there's also Madeline. Well, that one ended weirdly. I didn't, I didn't press anything. Was that just the end of it? I've got a little darker uh, blip in the loading screen. Okay, here we go. We're back home. I'm really sorry about the music thing. There's, there's literally nothing that can be do it, done about it. There are just a few people who have um, created false copyright IDs for the Dragon's Dogma um, cutscenes and background music, and they've ruined it for everybody. They, uh, there's, I, if I uploaded this with the sound, with the music enabled, it would get copyright strikes. That is the whole purpose of what these people do. They're not claiming revenue. They're not doing anything like that. They're literally just striking channels um, because they think it's fun or something like that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just a bunch of people who are really crap at the game and they were all like, oh, well, if I can't beat the game, no one can beat the game on YouTube. It's probably something like that. Okay, we wake up. This is, in fact, our house. Here we are in our cot. Oh, thank God. It was just a, a bad dream. We are so tiny. <laughs> A personal outfit acquired. Yes, it has been. Excellent. Okay, so we got a bunch of cool stuff. We got uh, a beloved right here. What's up, my my? I work for his grace. N no, I'm not. You have my utmost gratitude. Uh, thanks. I'm taking these carrots. I don't know what you're gonna have for dinner, but it sure as hell isn't my food. All right, let's move on. What's uh? There's also a bucket apparently yep right here i'm gonna take these because obviously i don't want him to um have them and there's also an interventive here and also green warish so if he falls ill quite frankly don't give two hoots all right what else we're we looking at so this is now the world the world has completely uh crippled okay we've dragon forged all of our gear that we're currently wearing as well even though we weren't actually wearing it in that cutscene man isn't it weird the giant holes in the sky bubbling clouds strange okay so we haven't been in the game yet we just haven't hello there sir what do you have to say about the well anything it is a nightmare come real no doesn't look like it okay let's take a look at our inventory and we'll see all of the gear that we just unlocked what, we, what is this a crimson dragon scale a scrap of a dragon's hide used in the crafting of weapons and armor Okay, so now that we have Dragonforged our gear, it's highly likely that we will very likely never 
get one hit again. Unless we're fighting Damon, in which case we probably will be. All right, Cage Fury, pretty good. Dragon's Wit right here. This thing should be an absolute ass kicker of a, of a weapon. Oh my god, yes. 400 increased magic. That is insane. Now, I don't know what the damage increase for the Caged Fury is, because it never actually says so, but this is already Dragonforge, which is kind of like the fourth level out of six, which was introduced with uh, the Bitter Black Isle update. So what happened was you basically upgraded from stars. You upgraded one star, two stars, three stars, and then you get uh, the potential to Dragonforge it when you fight a dragon. The end dragon of the campaign that we just fought, Grigory, that is the only instance where you can dragon forge it from no stars or one star or two stars. Otherwise, you'll have to fight a dragon in the wilderness that has three stars on your equipment. And then there's like a percentage chance that it'll dragon forge anything. So for the dragon's wit to be almost, I don't know, like almost twice, almost twice the power of this thing at its base level, we probably want to use that instead. Uh, if you want to level it up past, like, uh, Dragonforge, which is this little red icon just over the over the side of my head right here, uh, you can level that up to a Silver Dragon, level 5, and then a Gold Dragon, which is Gold Rarity. And you have to go to Bitter Black Isle to do that, the DLC area. So, now that we have unlocked the game, let's have a crack at the rest of what we're looking at. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good, right? Uh, we're also going to be able to blast through the next campaign real fast and the reason for that is we're going to be able to travel to all of the port crystals we have dotted around the place and we're going to be able to pick up more port crystals. There is of course a limit on how many you can place but at the same time they're going to be there so it removes all of the traveling. It also keeps like your mini map uh, progress and stuff like that. Let's walk to Grand Soren. Let's have a taste of what all of the enemies are like along the way because I think that might be a really really cool thing to do. In fact, actually, why don't we end this episode right here? And I'll start a brand new one. So, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Dragon's Dogma Darkerism that I've made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find not only D's Nuts, but you're also going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure. That's how social media works. And, of course, until you catch the next episode or stream, hint, hint, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!